Welcome to a friendly. Hey, I don't have my mask. Fucking cancel him. I mean, no, 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 that's not. We don't say the c word. Uh, TV my fine. Two hundred bucks. Yeah. Uh, I miss the third camera angle sucks. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Wow, what a twist of events that Ali is <laughs> the one that doesn't have the mask. <laughs> Shit. What is that, Miss? You said that I was going for It's supposed to be a close up of me. I'll change it. No, 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 I'll change it. No, you sure? I was going for Scorsese, dude. I'm sorry. I was going. (laughs) It actually, dude, it looks like a shot. Strange new places. It looks like a shot from Goodfellas. Like, no, Giovanni, where's the garlic at? Oh, no. That's not it. And you want to get rid of that? No, it's not good. I'm sorry, Ali. We've been away. Welcome to 2020. I'm taking this shit off because it's because of the it's the China virus. It's fake. Will Twitch ban us for saying that? No, I don't think Twitch bans you for anything really. Except no, they do feet, right? Yeah, feet. Uh, I'd imagine like saying that cyberpunk sucks. <laughs> that, that'd probably get rid. See, and we're off. That's the end of that. <laughs> we're done. No. Oh yeah, I think we just got cut all off. All the things that have been. Holy said. shit, we got cut off. <laughs> Wait, what? Did I, I can't hear anything. <sighs> no, it's probably just a. Uh, it's probably just a make, right? Is that your thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Ali, I'm you really. Said it, miss. I'm really sorry, dude. I. I yeah, well, you know, we're, we're live still, so. Uh, dude, I, I'm really sorry I took the creative control there of just for a second there. I was like, my name's Nicholas Binding Reffen and this is Neon Demon 2. Welcome. No, Neon Demon Down Under. <laughs> <laughs> is there more cannibalism? No, I don't really think there's any need for Wait, that. Yours? There's food supplies are high. Your guys' headphones aren't working? Yeah, they're not working for some reason. What? Are yours cut too? No, mine are fine. Oh, maybe it's just me. Oh, Oh, no, I just had one off. (laughs) And we're back. New year, new me. Well, now we're saying that. Can you turn down Miss Love a bit? Oh, for fuck, don't you? No, I do like the sound of your voice, but it's very deep fried meme at the moment. To me, anyway. What the hell does that mean? It just means the entire time you were speaking like this. And it was like, are you my year six teacher at an athletics carnival? (laughs) <laughs> this is all I can hear. And it, uh, the blue uh, captain of the blue team will come to the canteen for the presentations. Captain of the blue team, come to the canteen, please. And then giving up on that, I just like go, Violet, Violet, can you come to the canteen? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes. Precious memories, dude. You they are precious them. memories, though. I they really are. liked all of those, especially yeah. this. Just being really, really hot, yeah, and that transforming into being really, really sunburnt. Yeah, and then getting to whack the fattest kids because <laughs> they couldn't run away fast enough, and we were at an athletics your, carnival. Well, we should have got a point for each slap on the hand that was pure white afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what primary schools did you go to? Like Bondi Public High? No, I went to numerous ones. I was one of those uh, uh, traveling gypsy kids. It's like no school can teach me nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can juggle sticks on fire. I can. I probably went to your primary school for a while. Who St. knows? Michael's. Maybe, to- maybe I went to Ali's. <laughs> 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 what was well, your pri- primary school called? Um, city school. Yeah, that sounds about right. District it 12. It was just made out of Lego. C-I-T-Y. Oh. It was like one of the... It was a chain. It was the KFC oh, man, of that's schools. Brutal. That sounds sick. <laughs> it has Tell me more. It had so many... Yeah, that sounds that's great. right up your alley. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, Dude, well, but like, here's yeah, the thing. It's, it's, it's that, sounds, that, that sounds amazing. That Probably had the Dome Kang's face on it as the slogan. <laughs> <laughs> that school... That school went up really quickly as like one of the preferred schools by the middle class. And then (laughs) it took a nosedive. Would you believe it or not? This is so Pakistan and this is so bad. But um, a student raped another student. What, in in primary school? No, 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 this was high school. So so city extended to both. Yeah, basically me and a lot of people right after that happened, that case happened. Um, oh, were like taken out of that school and sent to different ones. Damn. Dude. So you could be taught from K to 12 by McDonald's, essentially. <laughs> like you, your principal would have been that bird. <laughs> yeah. What was her name again? Oh, Birdie. <laughs> yeah, that was it. The bird was so The vice creepy. captain is that hamburger off-brand mascot from Hungry Jack's. <laughs> oh. <laughs> just in there being like, one day, one day. Did you, did you just go to the... Is, like, I'm just... Because I, I just... I've been watching The Wire... Did you just go to school in the wire? 
Like that's no, what no, this no, is no, happening no, in the no, wire. No. See, the whole thing is that they would have just been watching that, the and, wire, and, and being, being like, like, that's Hollywood for you, glamorizing how amazing life can be. That would have been it. Well, we don't really even know. haven't gotten the picture painted well enough. Dude, like, in of, this, this, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking, you, me, so you really need to understand this. Yeah. It gets worse than Chicago, okay? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> you stop blowing Actually, my mind. Like, uh, I, I keep learning on this pod. <laughs> Did you want to? So this, this, I really do. <laughs> this this rape story. There's been a lot of conjecture about it being completely false. Some of it is true, but the the official version that we heard as kids was fucked. <laughs> Do we need to hear this on Twitch? Yeah, we don't. This, this really sounds like because, something we probably because, shouldn't be talking about like, live. And which makes me feel that it's probably He's untrue. The, he might be the, the, the voice of reason here. Uh, well, it's not something. How long have we been on? <laughs> Ten minutes. Well, that's a new record less, for us. Less, <laughs> less. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, <laughs> so well, anyway, all right. Look, Ali, I would say. That if that happened, I wouldn't be surprised because Just it is Pakistan. But I also wouldn't be surprised if it was made up as well because it's Pakistan. I think it was made up because, like, the ending. How? Okay, can I just can us. I just say the ending? It's not it's not viable. Okay, like, go but on. After like a lot of horrible shit, um, apparently, who the guy had masked her, which is why I think it might be untrue. Masked. And it turns out it was his sister all along. Like, well, for Christ. <laughs> That didn't happen. Yeah, that's, well, that's I, I, I didn't even follow the story. Masked her. Is that some <laughs> so sort of, well, you I, got taken out for a horror story. Yeah. because Just be like, oh my God, drip, drip, drip. Did that actually happen at school camp? Did it? Okay, well, we're not going there anymore. Dude, I'm the, not even The school kept yesterday. saying how it's untrue. But like our parents were like, nah, it's... Fuck <laughs> <laughs> off. Uh, <laughs> and I don't even know why I got out of it. I can you just give that to well, me? Well, let's just put it this way, though. You, it seems like you dodged a bullet there in that your entire education system wasn't in the most mediocre sounding school I've ever heard of my entire life. A franchise. <laughs> I've never heard of that before. Unless Pakistan. you count Catholicism. Maybe just yeah. the, the name St. Patrick's is a hell of a lot of them. Is there any yeah. school in Australia that isn't St. Patrick's? There's That's St. Michael's. That's what we need to know. St. Michael's. <laughs> St. Michael's. There's St. Joseph's. There's every saint. Any, there's probably a saint, you know, uh, like Karachi's. Clementine Ford. Right? Yeah, there's probably a... There's a, a <laughs> there is a saint. He, he, he shrines at the beach, and I kid you not, one time this guy got pissed at me for laughing at this. He genuinely said this. Yeah. They projected that there was going to be a typhoon that hits the shores, mm -hmm. like a cyclone or something. And it keeps... Because, like, Karachi's in a bit of a depression, these massive cyclones end up getting diverted, right? Mm -hmm. They end up, like, missing the place. What? But How does that work? Something to do well, with it Are they scared of, like, like a a declining? It, like, I don't know. There's signs to it. But, like... Probably. It's, it's, Sounds it, about There are right. cyclones <laughs> that come there, but, like, more often than not, you hear a cyclone coming and then it, it in just kind of misses the city. But there's this belief, and people would get pissed if you say otherwise, that that shrine that's at the beach is what's holding the typhoon away. <laughs> I love that kind of shit, man. And I, I one time the there was this guy like, yes. in Malaysia. He was studying, mm. he was doing his MBA. So he's not like some dumb cunt. And he was saying this and I was like, oh, yeah. Wait, you're serious? He was like, and he got he got pissed at me. He was like, how dare you even suggest that this could not, this could be untrue? But you know what? That's not exclusively, like that shit goes down in the West too. Like even in, like in Ireland, you can imagine that sort of like, Touched to Saint Patrick, Saint of Saint of the Saint Saint, and uh, the Rupert that, the Green. Yeah, and like if it's like you yeah, know, yeah, look, it's it's the Irish. They're just looking for an excuse to fight. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. <laughs> but don't you think the Irish you thing? Head off. The Irish thing's so sort of like, uh, you know, like and if that uh, and if that statue goes down, uh, if that statue goes down, the the, the 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 harvest of oysters this year will be less sweet. We'll still get oysters, but they won't taste as sweet. You know, like anything. Yeah, you know. Yeah, that does. So sound it's not good. particularly Pakistani, yeah. dude. In Australia, they do that, dude. Have you ever gone to like any point, anything where you, you chuck coins in? It's like it's like yeah, like hundred no grand in but there. None of them Half actually my believe in it, right? Speak hmm? for you, None of them actually believe in the coin stuff. This guy, I like, believe legitimately in it. Legitimately believed it. Well, I don't really believe in it. Well, like, you're also not doing an NBA. <laughs> yeah, I don't play the. I don't play basketball. Also, he, yeah. shouldn't, he, he really shouldn't be doing an NBA. I, I, I'm not tall enough, yeah. uh, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but you know, you know. I feel like don't, uh, don't, 
Don't be too harsh. I, I really hope that one day he just somehow stumbles his way onto being a commentator on the NBA. Oh, that'd be that'd so be amazing. Sick. That would I, be I really so like the good. fact that he was yeah bouncing. He's, he, what's that called again? <laughs> dribbling. Yeah, it's he's, he's a smart move. Isn't yeah, it? he's dribbling in two ways. Look at him. He's bloody. He's he's lost it up there. He's on form, and now he is shaking. He's in a lot of trouble. Million hey, dollars, please. Can can people <laughs> confirm if they can hear Miss Love right? Is he too low or uh, is he no, fine? I'm good. I'm golden. But dude, I'm I'm pretty sure. Yeah, don't don't pay out Pakistan uh, on the fact that one guy is like this statue holds back the typhoon. Like, just pay him out on like the, I assume like Blade Runner as far as the eye can see slums, if any. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Hey, should we do our first thing that we were supposed to do for the pre-show? No, yeah. you, Benny. What's you that? are a trickster, aren't you? What did he say? It is, it's it's no, it's, it's it's loud. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he did. Fucking and hell. can I just say, prank accomplished. Yeah. Well done. That's what I like to see. And we have many, many opportunities for you Best to fun. unleash your pranker within in this particular episode. And by many, I mean one. But that, that, is, that is a huge... Wait, is this, like, is this your story? Has like v- virtually no. Yeah, it is. But wait, don't don't do it for the main part. This yes, is a pre-show. Should. Oh yeah, because apparently you're saying that's good. So what we, are we let's starting do with? the one. We do the one that you were talking the about. Fridge, fridge review. All right, <laughs> we have a new trinket that Jordan purchased for his editor, who will go unknown. Actually, no. Do you drop his name? Is his name known? <sighs> Swamp Ogre, <laughs> Shrek. He's uh, really. Not okay with being identified ever <laughs> since this whole this he realized that this whole business could fall apart in any second. That's part and of so, the fun. Yeah, it, uh, well, I think it is. <laughs> but some people, especially when they're getting into their thirties, want a consistent stream of income. Yeah, for so some lame. Reason. Job so security lame. is for losers. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, exactly. Dude. That's not John Wayne. You want that going? Job keeper. Yeah, uh, like <laughs> what's his name? Clint now Eastwood's that's stable. <laughs> characters wouldn't have done that. <laughs> You're fucked, man. You really are. Yeah, that's... Uh, Jesus. Is, is, is it time to go to a break yet? Or <laughs> Wait, hold up, Mr. Ah, he, he, oh, for Christ's sake. Okay, on, well, this, is, this is great, isn't it? Well, I have to you not leave I it hate so much when someone does that. Happy New Year, by the way. Oh, yeah. Happy, uh, happy, happy 2021. It's a compliment. Do you think 2021 is going to be... Sucked in. <laughs> so Sucked why am I in. getting pointed at and um, laughed at? Anyway, the important thing Doesn't is... Does anyone care about decorum? The impa- <laughs> Charming, everyone said. Anyway, the important thing here is... Try that fridge. Try that fridge. fridge. Just get it going. Try, Try that, that fridge. fridge. Pick it up. Try, Try that, that fridge. fridge. Now that's Try catchy. That Try that fridge. fridge. Try that fridge. <laughs> Try that so fridge. So make me burp again to pick this up, to pick up the steam. No, yeah. well, you don't need to. Uh, this look. is a fridge that keeps things cold. How and cold is it? And as you can it? see, it's it legitimately is. <laughs> yeah. It's like really hot. <laughs> That's the whole point. That's the whole point of this segment. There's nowhere else to go from here. That, oh, we've just begun. Now you try. Nah, is it hot or not? You're the really only opportunity to have pranks, eh? Hey? <laughs> All right. Let me just let me just have I a go. I can't reach it any closer. Let me, let me just, I can't. That's it. That's that. That's as close. as I can feel it radiating with heat. Let Actually, me just touch to out. see if it's yeah. true. It, it's hot. It's definitely hot. Yeah. Ali wasn't lying. Let me try. But what? What's the? So yeah. It's oh. You can fry an egg on that. Maybe fella. it's a heater. I wish we had an egg so we could try that. That would be cool. Yeah, but we don't, do we? Yeah, because the only oh, well, thing that's the here, times is, of COVID that's here in 2021. is very esoteric flavors of Lay's and pepper. And tea, let's not forget that. Uh, hey, the guy who sent us tea, send us more tea. Anyways. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the guy is now Woolies. Uh, no, look. It's supposed to be a fridge and it heats. We did. What's the story? So, like, why did, did you figure buy this? out? We, I'll let you... Uh, I'll let you uh, weigh that weigh that one. When we were down in Narendra last, and yes, we went there again uh, with very hilarious results. Really, I just had a <laughs> meeting with the general manager and said, oh, I've got some questions for you. Shut the fuck up. No, you listen to me. Yeah. No, I'm not actually here to listen to anything you show. I'm just here to get a current affair bite. And he just allowed me to sit down and take them. It was, it was really weird. I really don't yeah. understand how people aren't media trained like that. Because, because their entire life is just getting that wind news camera in front of them and just being like, oh, oh, sorry, we're going to have to cancel. We, we don't have time to talk about local cancel issues today because the under 12 girls got into volleyball <laughs> in the semifinals. And <laughs> hey, that's big news. Fair, yeah. 
Fish. Well, it is yes. big news. And, and congratulations to the Cyclones, all right? Sports, <laughs> sports and the bush, every Australian's birthright. It is everybody's birthright. Like, that, that is really all they care about. Did this girl that I vaguely know uh, called Tegan... Uh, is she that good at gymnastics? Oh, she's not? Well, we're still going to give her a parade. <laughs> a parade. <laughs> there must be... So good. You know, I was watching, uh, again, uh, Ricky Ponting's interview, uh-huh. and there was something interesting that I noticed, and it can, I think it can only happen in Australia. Yeah. He was asked... Um, uh, yeah, like about his life. Apparently, he grew up really poor in, like, public housing, and he had like to Bradman, explain... Right? He had to explain run. what public housing was. Well, but they, 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 other people have played cricket, so that explains that. Bradman, Ricky mm-hmm. Ponting. Yep. Well, I'll have they to take you word. Cricket and basketball are different sports. I know that everybody loves when we discuss sports because we're clearly all experts yeah, here, yeah. particularly yeah. Ali. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah. definitely not. But the, the point, well, so I'm learning again. He, he like said, I said, I'm learning. He, he basically was talking about how poor he was. And he also said, which I think can only happen in Australia, that the two sports that I really enjoyed playing was cricket and golf. Mm. Can you imagine any country where, like, a public housing kid plays golf? Yeah. No, you raised really good points. And it wasn't mini golf. Yeah, I suppose No, no, right. no, it was actual golf. And or that new Channel 9 show, Maze Mayhem or something. This is why... That I does look like <laughs> the funnest show on earth. Have you heard that? Jesus. You don't want to watch that? I, I do. I, I, I don't know anymore. It's I, so good. They've just... They've combined mini golf with those games... You know when you were really young... And you went to like uh, the the Olympic pool, and then they just get that obstacle course along, and then there'd just be a bunch of lifeguards spraying you with hoses, mm. and then you're like, "Stop, stop! It's in my eyes!" Ah! And you're like, "You fell off. Go back to the back of the line." <laughs> you know how that is just the highest rating show now. <laughs> it's just what? those obstacle oh, courses. Oh yeah, yeah, the ones where they're just like, "You got punched in the face or whatever." <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, they've combined that with mini golf. Can it get more fun? Oh, I fuck. don't think it can. <laughs> Every Isn't time. that incredible? So they tee it through this amazing mini golf no. loop. No. And then they have to run through a windmill <laughs> to get to the other side and go, okay, yeah, you lose, game over. All right, next one in line. Genius. It's genius, isn't it? Every time, and I that's feel why like Ben Fordham, I'm <laughs> fine with him just spewing out pro liberal propaganda because he commentates those kinds of shows. <laughs> <laughs> I don't approve. Should we? Of you don't know, like that? As the most, as the most. How do you not like as that? As the most moral, morally superior man on this table, I say I don't approve. That's very silly. Oh, is that why? Yeah, pr- not highbrow enough for you. <laughs> yeah, no, we're, it's not really. It's not. We're not in the Bachelorette anymore, are we? <laughs> Yeah, put back on full frontal. I'm sick of this crap. You know, like every time the bell curve of like when humanity's just nosedived into like the shitter, every time I think that that's happened, they just they just surprise me. You know, they, they just up the ante. They do. <laughs> I Why? Mean, you know, I've just given a prime example of that. You can't. I'm really, in fact, guys, let's try to think of that. Can you think of a dumber? No. Okay. <laughs> Can you? Is I can't that think possible? Of anything. The only the only way it could be dumber is like, about- and they're naked. <laughs> <laughs> and let's be honest, give it a year. Give it a year. It'll start in Scandinavia and Dude, work its way you- down here. And then that like fat, annoying uh, host, like who's who does like, I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. I'm kooky and a mum. That no, lady will get be grand in. naked. Yeah, it'll be grand. Just going, oh God, how did I wind up here? <laughs> <laughs> and grand and grand in your fault. Like just running behind. Just this little magic. Yeah, you got any coke? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can you say that on Twitch? Yeah, you can okay. say that on Twitch. Okay. Hey, uh, just don't talk about feet. Jordan, people are asking. <laughs> this is amazing. You can talk about nudity, but <laughs> not <laughs> feet. It's a weird platform. <laughs> That's pretty. Hey, uh, Jordan, people are asking, is that Shaggy on your shirt? No, it's oh. not. And you're not going to find out who that is, all right? You are not going to Google this man and subscribe to him. Now, let's just continue on with this. But <gasps> I'll show I thought you of just a dumber game. You don't want to give him a shout out? He doesn't need it. I can't. Why? Not allowed to. Right. Why? Well, then let's no, we're going to move on. Let's 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 we move on. are going. I well, let's take <laughs> a but, I, like, but I just got to say this, though. Love him. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah no, he's see, funny. that is an example of the polar opposite of what we we're just talking about. It's just like it's all ebbs and flows. There's high art and there's low art. All right, how about we go on a quick break? Come back with the actual pod. You do not wanna you do not wanna miss the pod because we have a special Special, special surprise for them. We got a very special guest. A very special guest. We've got a guest. Miss Love, do you want to give any hint? Okay, I'll give you a little hint. This is what I'm going to say. Uh, everybody now. Snoop Doggy. Dog. The bomb. Stay tuned Doggy. because right after this, we are not talking about Snoop Dogg. We might We're be. talking about Snoop Lion. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello. Oh. Who's all this then, eh? Hello. This is Rumi. He is uh, 10 weeks old and uh, he's very well behaved. Feels like a segment on Sesame Street, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it you know, does. They just come back and Elmo will be like, and who's this? I Hi, like, Rumi. I love that. It's like, ah, he's so soft. But he is very soft. And he's also a very good boy. If he I is a really say. good boy, isn't he's, he? He's so well behaved. Puppies are usually mental. And Ali knows the decoy to keeping them behaved, which is giving them a schmacko. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Giving but them that's a also gel from I feel it's unnecessary. Like, he'll still be fine. Um, but, yeah, that's going to occupy him for a bit while so we're doing the pod. Ooh. And he's now he's scratching scratchy. himself. He's just oh. Dog oh. commentary. And you thought top 10 cutest dogs was the peak of friendly Geordies. <laughs> Stay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're about to top that video. Down. Yes, no, we are. I'm sorry, but uh, I, need, I need to state the obvious. And he's got a very cute little face. Go on. Yeah, tell, him, tell him how you... Well, tell us the story, darling. This is uh, the he was Studio in a 10. gutter and I rescued him. Yeah, not true. good on you, yeah. Ali. Oh, okay, That's not true. Well, I bought him from a breeder. <laughs> he I mean, you money. could probably say that no one would know. Yeah, he, 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 he's got your butt. He's your mate. He did he's, the but he of is that. actually like because he's a beagle. He he's not the tricolor beagle, so no one wanted him. Oh, what really? What's yeah. a tricolor? Oh, he's only got two colors. colors. The beagles that have yeah, beagles have like black, brown, black, black brown. and white. He's only two. He only has uh, white and uh, and brown. Dude, I right, like so he's an Aldi purebred. Yeah, he was the only one. Which I imagine is a brand of dog food they have there. (laughs) Dude, that's cool. He's kind of like the, uh, he's kind of like the ugly duckling or something. Because he's like, I'm different. It's like, that's okay. Yeah. And he was underweight when I got him. It's pretty neat. I like the tail. He was underweight when I got him because he was low energy compared to all the other ones. Damn respect. So they would like, and there was, yeah, there were eight and he would be left out for like milk because he was. Dang. He can't be the run. Don't run. That's th- the run. But run small, no teat. Okay, okay. Maybe you're right. Yeah. Maybe you're right. It's just that my friend's got a, like our, our mate has a dog called Django. And um, <laughs> I always I like thought, that name. I, actually. I always thought he was a... <laughs> look yeah, but come I'm, on. I'm How much better is it naming him one of the greatest poets of all time and he's doing this? Oh, yeah. His yeah, name's true. Rumi. He named Rumi. Isn't that a great name for a dog? We were discussing this, Ali Rumi. and I, and we came to the conclusion that if you were going to get a dog, there's two options. You can either give them a really stupid name or you can give them a really epic name. You can call them a Greek god or you can call them um, Dumbhead. I feel like I'm, <laughs> I, I'm more... No, you're not calling him Frank. This is why... That's you, what I'd you call him. Yeah, but you're not... A, that, that's, I'm, I'm very disappointed in Indy. It should have been nah. that dog should have been called Penis Head. Oh, f- that should have been its name. <laughs> and you know that's true, and that's why you're laughing because like there's the a cool kernel of truth in yes, every joke. That's, I'll, <laughs> sure, I will pay that. All I'm saying is, I like. Uh, look, it's a it's a very nice name. It's a very nice. Name. I personally would have called this guy Miss Love Frank. Was <laughs> See, it, and I'm really opposed to this. I don't like it when dogs Ooh. have human names. I like it because it's funny because it's like, they got human names, but they ain't human. They're little doggies, but they kind of got similar stupid. This is a good person name, you know? Really? <laughs> yeah, that's just me. That's your like, favorite. So you don't think it would be better if this dog was called like Democles? Nah, I don't get No, I don't. <laughs> but I do oh, I should have named him Herman <laughs> Kane. Yeah. Look at his stupid. But, no. Um, but Citizen y- Kane. <laughs> But yeah, man, like... And he love Kane. But yeah, his dog, I always thought was the runt, but I think his dog is literally autistic. Not your dog, my other mate's dog. Because, like, dude, you should see him. He's, uh, he's... The stuff he does is just bizarre. Like, he's, he does this thing where his what eyes... What does he do? His he's eyes, just brilliant he at look. math. He goes, he goes... His eyes go... His eyes are like this, go... Like, they go... For like 30 seconds, and he's just sort of like... 
He's just. Is he arrested? Well, that sounds like a run to me. Yeah, but no, like he might like be dog an Einstein. Huh? Rumi is an Einstein comparatively. <laughs> well, man, I think you got to make them Einsteins a little oh. bit too, because oh. they don't know oh. what what you Who's want from them. You That's true, them. but sharp teeth. you have not made a dumb dog until you've made a dumb dog. <laughs> yeah, dude, you always listen think that. to the man. Listen to the man speak. Because remember when Indy and Zeus were hanging out? Yes, and it really felt like Zeus was Forrest Gump. Yeah, <laughs> but yes. my newer dog, which is a French bulldog, it's just. Look, Dumb and Dumber Dog Edition. Dang. Which is if that wouldn't at least break even at the box office. Yeah. Surely. Oh, yeah. And you make it one would, look like would. Sean William Scott, which is just putting a little wig on Who's him. the other one? It can't be Ashton. That's already been done. Ashton? What, what, what do you mean, Ashton? Dumb and Dumber starring Sean William Scott and? Uh, oh, Ashton Kutcher. Yeah, uh... I suppose. No, 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 no. We're starring him with dogs. With dogs. Oh, what? What's, we're just giving him a little. It's gonna be like Air Bud. Doing it's then. gonna be Air Bud. Like oh, a I did, I did, I've never actually watched it. To be honest, I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> You've never seen D- Dumb and Dumber. You're kidding? <laughs> no, dude. That's. And I bet you, if you go back and I look at the Oscars, was, it won it that year. I knew your act was missing something, <laughs> dude. The first one is like it should be like in you know Schindler's List, Dumb and Dumber, you know. Uh, drive like it, it should be. It, it's so good. It's like really fucking right. Funny. Dumb and Dumber Two is just the tear down from that of the Truman Show. So. Dude, <laughs> Dumb and Dumber Two is is sucked. Like it was, it was, it was depressing. How it was like. You know what? Dumb and Dumber Two. The first joke was r- nailed it. Like the first joke was like so good, so incredible, really, really, really funny. It's a long build up, and you know he basically pretends. The joke is that he pretends, spoiler alert, to be insane for like 10 years as a joke. But it, it's like the idea of that's really funny. And they, But then they start off with this high and you're like, whoa, this is, they might top the first one. This is crazy. They, this never happens. They could top the original. And then it's just a slow decline, just a <laughs> slow race to the bottom where in each passing minute, it's like, oh, you know, maybe they can come back with it. Like, oh, that's cool. Like they're just, yeah, they're gonna it ebbs and flows. It, you know, it could it could come back, and then like an hour, and you're just like, it's done, isn't it? There's no chance. And then by the end, you're just like, <sighs> pricks. Like, why but if you- there was a Dumb and Dumber three, you're in the front row. Right? Oh yeah, yeah. So the legacy. <laughs> you know me too on. well. You know me too well. Well, so would I if I ever knew that it was oh, on. Look at his stupid dumb face. Guys, I really have to point it out. He's got a dumb face and just silly ears. <laughs> yes, um, thank you for that. That's all right. Uh, but yeah, look, so watch one, skip two. Oh, it's not funny. No, he's all right. He's all right. No, no, no. Oh, but uh, yeah. Um, um, so that's the... Let's right, see. okay, so that was Miss Love's movie review. Thank you for that. Uh, <laughs> Dumb and, if you want dumb and Dumber was cool. If you, dumb and Dumber too, not cool. If you want more, what about it dumb doesn't really. He doesn't have a, a score out of ten, does he? It's just if cool see, or not cool. Yeah. You see, Dumb and Dumber one point five. <laughs> is that a thing? Did that, that was DVD a release? Blood. Yeah, it was. It was not with Jim Carrey. He oh, wore it. like it was so with it was a band camp. It was. It was a. Yeah, it was band camp, oh, and it was. Dude. I think better than both those Dumb and Dumbers. I dumbers. did not see <laughs> that, <laughs> and I. I always think that that works better as well. Just when you have a franchise that has very notable, very famous actors, and then they try and switch them for a DVD release going off the brand, that off-brand one, that. that's where the gold you is. You love that. You yeah, because love the whole it. thing is oh. a joke. So you don't need any jokes. Yeah, that's true. Any Actually, jokes after that is a bonus. You're, he's kind of onto, you're kind of onto it. You're kind oh, of onto it. I know. It. I, I'm really onto it when it comes to Hollywood. I've seen it all. Like I thought Doctor were- Sleep is better then, uh, see, I don't even know what the original is called Dude, anymore. You know, it's what, just, what? it was blown out of the water what by Dr. Do- Sleep. Can you explain Dr. Sleep? Yes, I can. It's the sequel to a movie whose name escapes me, I'm sure, that is making everyone in the comments really angry. <laughs> Dude, screw it. <laughs> you care too much you know about what? him. You now I remember it, and I'm not going to say it. Yeah, I'm not going to say it. it. Is, come on, get on. I can't remember. What are you going to do get about it? Get on my it? level and start trolling the audience <laughs> that supports us. <laughs> Um, but yeah. So, what's the vibe <sighs> of the film? Like, it sounds like one of those. Like, it sounds like Doctor Feels. This is the thing. I will say this. I think that you should go and watch Doctor Sleep purely because it is the same thing as Quentin Tarantino's new film, uh, newest film, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, which was sick. Which I is thought. that it is just hanging out with Brad Pitt, 
for three hours. Who, who doesn't like that? That sounds cool. That's fine, isn't it? It's pretty much just stylized reality TV. Yeah. Great. I want to watch that again. I can't wait for the director's cut, which is six hours of hanging out with Brad Pitt. So what is it but like? Is it just mm-hmm. Hollywood and they've just erased Leo? <laughs> like once upon a time in Hollywood, but they've just cut out Leo. So it's just like, how you been, man? And then Leo's just nothing. He's like, yeah, man, let's <laughs> I watch haven't TV. haven't seen it, so maybe. You saw, that could be what happened. That's they Dr. might have Sleep. gotten rid of one of the biggest draw cards they have. Oh, you're talking about Dr. Sleep. You think Dr. Sleep is just... Yes, that's what I'm asking. You now you're It's The following. Shining but replaced Jack Nicholson with Brad Pitt. Yeah, precisely. <laughs> am, I, am I wrong? Or so I... good. And you know what? Not that different either. Like He, he did fight club. He could do that. What can't Brad Pitt improve? Nothing. I, I'm yeah. a big fan. I'm a big fan. So, like, so I reckon, uh, you know, like the littlest vampire would be better if Brad Pitt played the littlest vampire. What <laughs> was that movie where he gets like shot in the first twenty five minutes and it's still a good movie because of him? What? Pity. Oh. No, it's like the, the Coen Brothers one. Coen Brothers? Oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Burn after reading. Yes. Spoiler alert. That's a good movie. Have you seen that? No, I haven't Damn, seen that Damn, Margaret and David right now. I'm well, into I probably this. shouldn't have said that. <laughs> the spoiler. Ah, but dude, it's, it's an old movie. Yeah. It's like a five it's year. Like, it's if like it's been like five years, people can't be pissed off. Like, I was waiting for that. It's like, you had half a decade, dude. Too <laughs> bad. I'm glad I spoiled it for you. More than a yeah. decade. Yep. Yeah, more. Way more. more it's way older than that. It's like a, it's very old, but uh, in fact, I think we should go further and just watch a movie on the day it's released, and then come on this podcast and release the entire plot. <laughs> <Yeah>. That <laughs> and, and then it just, but like drop it in a way that's like we're just talking. And it's like yeah, and I, and I also think that Chomsky has a thing. He dies in the third scene, and it's 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 pretty like bloody. Yeah, a great uh, perspective on Israel. You know, just like yeah, oh, yeah, 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 and stroke. call it the no spoilers edition. <laughs> <laughs> just the biggest. C U N T thing you can owie ever do. <laughs> yeah, I like it. That's what I want to do. I like it though. I like Are it. You bite He's got little fangs. Uh, I, his, I like it when bone. No, no, dogs no, biting it. is good. Yeah, I do no, miss that dude, about my no, snuffly little dude, pig dog. Fangs. But you gotta like, in there. You gotta tell them well, early on puppies. not to bite. I didn't know that. You know, all puppies have little razor needles, and then those razor needles fall out, I, and then they grow teeth. You're kidding? Yeah. Well, we're well, learning everything. T- I didn't know they felt. That's amazing. It's Actually, really that's weird. Why like they, they just have this for about six months, and then all of a sudden they have Joe Biden's teeth. Dude, they are like. <laughs> Dude, but those teeth are uh, like the teeth, and they just all recognize, and no one understands this. But, but it's the, a little secret. But those they know the words. Hey, fair. I didn't know. That, I didn't know that. I didn't know they had the teeth of like those little those fish that bite. Like those. Ow! They like like they. It's like a fish. They're fish teeth. It's so. You know what I mean? Yes, I do. It's bizarre. Yep. But, Oh, well, I'm, there look, you go. The mysteries of life. I'm gonna have to write a letter to Peter, I guess, and be like, pull them out early or something. <laughs> That's a great thing to say on Twitch. Wait, pull, what's pull, what's pulling them out early going to do? Just because then they won't bite. Distort me. them. Just gum, gum, give me a nice gummin on my hands. Okay, so you would prefer this dog if it was just a floating fetus in a vat? Pretty much. Yeah. Well, so would I, Ali. He's not and that really, far off, really. So, mm. you want this, do you? So, we have some real segments if we want them. But, like, yeah, do no, peeps let's wanna, let's, the first one. Do peeps, How about we go do you guys have any questions? Should we, should Happy we, New Year. Should we take Rumi back or. No, he's chill. Just no, leave him. Nothing. He's, he's literally just living his life. Well, he'll be just leaving him. Like, without him, we could focus more on the podcast. Nah, nah, nah. His podcast no, more. Would we, be no, no, no. Exceptional quality. We won't talk about him anymore. Just give him the That's true. No, we'll be fine. I highly doubt that with you on this podcast, myself. But let's just try. We'll screw you. Well, let's start off with. Jordan, Favorite your story. <laughs> but like speaking that? of, screw you. I've got a good story about you. Me? Yeah, I'm, I'm retelling it. What? what is Even it? though I told uh, Swamp Poker today. Yeah. We're reliving the glory. What are you talking about? <laughs> when we were in Narendra, that was not the most eventful part. That we talked to the general manager for half an hour. It was easily eclipsed by the fact that we went back and, ah, oh, what's this? More conversations about movies. Hmm. And we're getting really smug about hipsters all the time on this podcast, and yet we talk about <laughs> the exact same things. Who cares? The I'm only I'm difference is we don't sit there and go, did you know that Lobo is bad with refugees? That's yeah. the only difference between Dude, us. I don't care. I want to become... I'm, I'm, f- I, I'm sick of not being on the feed, or I'm sick of you guys holding me back with your chomskys and your and your bastes and your ironies upon ironies. Just throw me in the deep, and I want to review... Korean pancakes and talk about how mad Japan is. 
And also of, this. Did you know that meth is a problem in Australia? Yeah, I'm sick of not doing that. I want to jump in the... Uh, honestly, me and, me and Rumi are going to take it on our, on our own if you don't start pulling your weight and being way less uh, woke. <laughs> well, I think as always, we all lost track of what you were saying. But <laughs> I, I, look, I think me and I'm the audience are tried. pretty on point with each other. Yeah, you guys do have a psychic connection. That's pretty much the only reason why anyone's watching this because you are the real life equivalent of Hypnotoad from Future Run. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's a that's a compliment. I like but that. Uh, yeah, so we were we were at uh, said town. Yeah, came back. Uh, Rat Boy and I were watching a Ghibli film, which interestingly I think was about rats. So he was loving that. Yeah, I, yeah. I was he's also. A, he's a documentary. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a talking wretch. Fine, Raz. <laughs> and we were loving that. Uh, Miss Love was not amused at all. Oh, this he's story. a purist. Yeah, I, he no, no, won't no. watch any Ghibli film unless it is directed by Miyazaki. He's one of those uh, types. That's not you know? true. He, that's he not true. Can only eat caviar. He's that much of a pansy. <laughs> so you can't go for any I'm of the, these. I'm the pansy. So this is the guy who eats a bloody burnt steak. How is that? What? Oh, a burnt wait, wait, steak. Why is that a pansy? Films. That's a pansy for sure. Is well done pansy. Now, this is the first question of the podcast. We have to get to the bottom of this. Surely, if you are eating Scott Morrison waving coal <laughs> in uh, Parliament, and then they're like, "Put that away." Like, hey, hey, hang on, let him have a bite of that. It looks pretty good. <laughs> That's what I like to eat. I like to eat coal. I, uh, I, I am I not going to eat. Uh, steak until yeah. it is one step away from being so burnt, so compressed it's that it turns into a diamond. All right, that's look. a bit too much for me because then my teeth would break. That's a pansy in my book. You, you don't like you don't like raw tasting food. That's the, your main concern. Yeah, no, he likes it. He likes it. No, like, I like it either way. I like it either raw or I like it. So it's just like you, you know, I put it in my mouth and it melts. <laughs> That's what I want out of that. I, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I want it I want it so hot that when I put it on there, there's some BBC reporter next to me going, I'm standing outside of an Iraqi oil field on fire. Now, this can literally melt teeth. See, it's happening right Ooh. now. That's, yeah. yeah, there you go. So that's it, what I go. want. I feel like, but come on, like, I feel like being a pansy, like, okay, I feel like it's more epic to like caviar than to eat, to eat like lettuce out of a bag. More epic? Yeah, I don't know. No one's denying that. Oh. But is it more pansy? Yeah, I don't think it's more... Oh, I don't know. Now, it's that's a real conundrum. Arla, you, you're going to have to be the adjudicator on that. Yeah, what is more pansy, pansy is eating raw one. lettuce or caviar? Because they are both Fuck, pretty windy. I, I, I'm still standing <laughs> by One is rabbit food and the other one is, is just eggs. like... Fish eggs. I can't even eat magic beans. It's too low. So the cheapest <laughs> magic food beans. versus what? the most expensive food. What which one's more wimpy? Really? Yeah, which one's more wimpy? Hey, I'm sorry. I've been out of the for a while. 100%. Hang on, let's let's see what let's see what yeah, the lads yeah, have to say. Lobby. My little conies. They're just saying logic. Jack Lang was right. <laughs> yes, that's hilarious, dude. Jack dude, Lang. Dude, by no. the way, I I uh, no. can I dibs on one of them. Uh, what are they called? Jordan uh, versus uh, Mini Avi Yemeni. When? Damn, is that? Have you been calling him out, Jordan? Yeah, but toying around with him is always because he's Mini and he's a midget that has sniped people. I'm pretty sure. What? But is Mini. Is he yeah, like a but I, I just can't buy it because he's so short. He can't be that short. Like, how can he pick up a rifle if it's taller than he is? <laughs> How's that work? <laughs> yeah, he was Dude, a sharp shooter. Fight apparently. with him, like like Paul, uh, whatever that dude's called. Yes, yeah. I'm sure that that would turn out really well for me. An a man that is trained really in the most lethal martial art there is has killed people in the past. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I, 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 I'm not fully golfed on this, but if you are wearing that much Israeli Defence Force gear, come on. You you've call killed yourself. a couple of Palestinians. You, 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 could be, you could be Jake Paul and do like a boxing that's match. That's what I'm saying. Oh yeah, that's but what like, you're dude, yeah, you but call but yourself a YouTuber. But Jake Paul knows how to box. <laughs> right, right, So it isn't right. a thing that you guys are getting over yet. I know you. Surely you'd win, right? <laughs> That's that's not how it works. <laughs> no, Jordan I'm as astonished fighting. as you are, but I'm not. This is going to astound and shock you, right? Yeah. I'm not good at something that I've never <laughs> done before in my life. Hold Come on, you played plenty of Tekken. Like, don't do this. You've played Tekken. 
Yeah, that's true as and well. He's good Maybe at Tekken. He's good at Tekken. Avi versus Jordan. Where's X? Where's Circle? Capoeira. <laughs> yeah. Right. I'll challenge you to Tekken, Avi. It's on. That, okay, maybe oh, that's that a good... Oh, that could be a thing. Maybe that's that a good middle ground. Thing, that's yeah. a good middle ground, yeah. Because yeah. this is... Look, my thoughts on Avi Yebedi are... I think that he's good value. I honestly think he, he is. is one of my favorite YouTubers. I watch every points. single one. Yeah, well, that's yeah. that's your opinion, Miss Up. That's <laughs> <laughs> you're entitled to it. And <laughs> let's not let's before someone else tells you, we'll tell you, and it's problematic too. Yeah, yeah, thanks, dude. He's Show also that. kind of fucked. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> Like I'm not oh, kidding. he's got some he, fucked like, ideas. He, he's His like, most egregious shit is just being like, "Do you have any? Uh, it, this year it was colder than last year. Uh, yeah, I know, but you have to look at the wider statistics. What? Uh, what about the sci- uh, What about the consensus of scientists not being accurate? Well, I think you'll find uh, this guy. Are you a scientist? No. Yeah. Well, moving on. That's the shit. Where it's like, what? No, no, <laughs> Miss, you have it completely wrong. Wait, what's your gripe? That's the gold. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the best ones. You, you, and the thing is, you're, you're the one, you're, you're wrapping yourself in the... It does show, and I do agree with this. I, oh, I, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so floppy. Oh, and you go. Yeah, let's go on. This is one of my big contentious points, and before I say it, AUWU Panthera, you better shut your fucking mouth because I have a shitload of stuff on you. And they might, anyway. You sure they're not working around that? I hope they're... <laughs> Huh? Not, there's there's no way out for them. I just feel like if we keep saying that in like four years, they'll be like, we figured it out. <laughs> you know what I mean? What? Look, if How that's going to get that's around that work. wall, they really don't want that getting out. Panther is yeah, on their Uber menu. That's how they order. Yeah, Charge. Yeah. The the thing is, you know, don't yeah, worry about look, me. It's just there's so much information on them. And really? it's just this kind of thing of, is it even it's worth releasing late. about it? Because it's so yeah. small and crap. But <laughs> yeah, they do a lot of damage. So maybe it is. Not we'll to me, see. though. This look. is the great thing about it. I really like it when they clip me because it just gives me a big video that I can respond to, right? But the, <laughs> what they do to all of these people that are actually effective at helping the unemployed is so criminal. Yeah, dude. We're ruining right. their lives. Yeah. So anyway, Bizarre. before Bizarre. we go into that, anyway, th- what, what I was saying was uh, Arvi Yemini. Yeah. I know what you're talking about, <laughs> but I do also think that I'm not a fan of protests. I don't think that they accomplish what people think they do. When people say, well, what about the protests in the 1900s? Well, that's all they had. And the other thing is, back yeah. then, it's the same thing with Jack Lang. 400,000 people went out to march for Jack Lang. He still didn't become Premier again. Yeah. didn't mean shit. Look, <laughs> it has to be really, really big. And you just marching with 5,000 people, it's just a nuisance. Yeah. And, and the other thing is, like most of the time, like, as Arvi Yevity shows, right, even when someone like Arvi Yevity, who is empirically wrong on the science about climate change, Mm. He still owns people that are marching for climate change. How that? You know? that yeah, yeah. No, well, well look, that's his entire <laughs> shtick. But I feel like I like I I understand. Like, how does he own them? Like, just these because he knows he's got factoids. a couple of talking points. But they but they yeah. But the talking points are. But the thing is, that the people that are marching. They don't even educated. have that. They have educated. no education yeah. whatsoever. So what I'm saying is, most of the time when I see these protests, it's just culture. I always think this when I see that. Like you see. Uh, an anti-climate change march, who's there? A bunch of old cunts. If you see and a, a bunch pro-climate change... Really young cunts. Right. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, Avi Yemeni, I suppose. Like he's the <laughs> <laughs> look, well, I mean, I'm not saying mentally, I'm saying physically. I mean, there, there is... Yeah, look, there is... But when you go to a climate change protest, you, you just know the type of person that's going to be there. I mean, yeah, yeah. like having a, like a right to... Uh, a right to uh, gather and all that is like, yeah, it's like it's, it's like somewhat effective to a degree, but I feel like, yeah, you know, the, the, the version of, you know, YouTube or the internet in the 1800s France was like, I don't know, st- literally standing on the soapbox and be like, I hear ye, hear ye. You know, it's like there are other uh, more effective ways of diverting your, even, 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 you know, diverting your super in your bank. It's like, is that a more practical, effective, uh, you know, form of let's say protest on the ground? Like, yes, it's mm. literally mm. shifting the the dude. Go where the money is. Who the hell's? No one's listening. No, no one's listening to those protests, right? Yeah, well, that's what I always think. You look at uh, the climate change protests. What happened out of it? Nothing. Nada zilch. Yeah. Just me shouting out and saying, "Switch over to super uh, future super." Hundred mm. million dollars out. 
is that out of fossil fuels. Is that right? Yeah. Well, if I don't Into know the exact figures because no one would know those things. But <laughs> what did you, what did you say? Uh, yeah, hundred million out of your pocket into Jordan's pocket. Out of Jordan, yeah. yeah he Jordan has been a con it. man this whole time. <laughs> no, no, no. It's going now. to whoever no, quite you end up returning goes. the money back, the people, the money that they gave. Um, ooh, ooh, wasn't ooh, wasn't there a ooh, thing where like um, I told you you stopped touching the dog. Why? Because he's tushing him up. Wasn't there like nah, a no. thing where like people <laughs> no, sent I'm you not. money for something <laughs> he likes it. and you accidentally refunded everyone back? What? That wasn't... No, no, no. That oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But that was... Yep, <laughs> that happened. Un- <laughs> unloading Jordan's financial secrets live. No, not Bye financial everybody. secrets. No, it was a GoFundMe and I couldn't extract it out because I have hippie bank accounts and those hippie bank <sighs> accounts don't have international codes or whatever, so I couldn't get it. I was just like, I'll bet a loss. And then the people at GoFundMe was just like, yep, sorry, we can't is do this, anything. Is this, just is this Bank Australia? Huh? Is this Bank Australia? Or? Yeah, yeah. Damn, no, it didn't I go knew. away. It just got returned back so, into so the So there account. is a huge downside to Bank Australia, which is that I if you're Trying to mobilize a mass movement, maybe not the best bank for yeah, you. Well, Go to ING. Well, but if you are well, I'm trying out. to organize fifteen thousand people, it's fine. That's so, good. so yeah, Miss Love, you might want to think about this. <laughs> the global appreciation of sauerkraut society would be up in arms if I made a GoFundMe that went back bankrupt. Wouldn't that be a great biography name for Miss Love's book? Rebel Rouser. <laughs> <laughs> the exact opposite of that. This man has a point, as does this man. I know, yeah, yeah. The calm centrist that can be won over at a whim. Um, <laughs> anyway, you never finished the story that I... Oh, yeah, sorry. All right, so uh, we were watching that. Miss Love was bored of that because he's a purist. So he walked into his bedroom. Uh, this was at Sandy's house and... That's actually why I wasn't bored. I was yes, t- you were. I was talking to a hat. Dame. Yeah, and you thought that hot dame was more important than a Ghibli film that you could watch <laughs> any time. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, go on. Moron. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, Loser. You, I'm sorry, but you dogged the boys. Yeah, I did. I, I definitely, <laughs> I, I really did. I, I let you guys down. I'll pay that. I'll pay that. I did <laughs> dog the boys. So he was in there dogging Dink. the boys, and we ended up watching that. It finished at 2 a.m. I walk in because <laughs> I'm sleeping in the same room as Miss. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a horror film. It's a horror <laughs> film. It's that scene in the road where they open up the basement and then there's just a bunch of skinny, balding, naked people down there. But there's just one, and there's very little light. There's no light. It's pitch black, and then there's just this scary poltergeist light emanating from his phone as he's sitting there, fixated, watching it. Ali, you know what he was watching? What? <laughs> You'll like it. He was watching the live stream of Mitch McConnell (laughs) and (laughs) accepting (laughs) but it's the president. Accepting the Biden's president. I congratulate Mr. Biden and his emphatic victory as president. Uh, of course you've spoken and uh, we have to accept that. (laughs) And I'm just sitting there scratching his chin. Stellar. Just going to 2 a.m. and no one's watching this. No one at CNN's watching this. No one at MSNBC. No one is bothered to cover what Mitch McConnell. We were thinking about this. I I highly doubt even Mitch McConnell's family (laughs) is watching that. It's only Miss Love. There's one man in the entire world watching. It was a real surprise to me that he did get this beep out of his finger. I've just been noticing a fine young man in Arbury of Australia. (laughs) Watching this broadcast, and I'd like to personally congratulate Mr. LaBella Bradley for finding this. I don't know how he did. But I really appreciate his patriotism. So good. And it just made me start thinking, so Ali, we really have to do this. And my little conies, I think you know what needs to be done. We need to make a cult of personality out of Mitch McConnell. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. I, I don't know. It has to happen. I don't know how it hasn't been done yet. <laughs> has it happened? It's, it's, it's the it most happened. charismatic man on earth. He's a meme. And he is a meme. And he has the most US senator voice yeah. of all time. Like that voice is perfectly designed for the obstructionist throughout all of US history. That yeah. voice of uh, I don't think that what the president is notified no. here is. Uh, no, go back. Hey, no, go. he's going, Dude, you're not paying he's attention. Going. He's got to go. Paying attention all right, all right. All right. So I off. absolutely <laughs> have and a way. Like super excited now. I absolutely <laughs> agree. Like, if I can, if I can go, if I can watch that and go like, hmm, 
good, good. It's good to see that the Senate's slowly turning. Then everyone can enjoy that man, surely. Mm, no, I don't think that's the case. <laughs> I really think that that is right up your alley. That is, that is primo yeah, Miss Love Entertainment. Yeah, yeah, that no, senatorial right. speech, right. was speci- it's, it's almost as if Mitch McConnell was elected purely because of your psychic powers. And you didn't even know of this man. You didn't know I who didn't. he is. You didn't know the man's name. No, I didn't you know just, his As name. soon as you heard, they heard this voice. Like, yeah, that was in. classic... Yeah. Jowly mm-hmm. voice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that sound. Mm-hmm. That fat Simpsons character in that episode where yeah. Lisa goes to Washington. Just run, mm-hmm. run, mm-hmm. Poorly animated. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's him. No, no, you're right. Maybe I did just project him and apparate him for myself. Yeah. Just look. To, and this is the other uh, question. Ali, you have a better knowledge of this than anybody. Has there ever been a moment in US history where the Republican leader of the Senate doesn't have specifically this voice. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Oh, you have to. You need to have that <coughs> voice. Uh, hey guys, really quickly, shout out Zwan OJ. She's just gifted five people some subs. Who uh, I think more than that, like 10, 10 subs. Now, why are you such a sweetie? That's very sweet. I just feel like that's a bot. That's but so even no. if you are a bot, <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you, mysterious AI lady. Maybe yeah. it is the chick from Ex Machina. And <laughs> <laughs> if she really is, is, I want to see if she can trick me. Rarr. Uh, hey, she tricked me. I wanted her out of there. Yeah. No, she tricked me too. I was definitely just like, oh my God, that's what they'll be like and delete Facebook. Oh, but there's a new guitar pedal. Keep it for a bit longer. Uh, but yeah, how so scary gonna- that that is how I describe my girlfriend to everybody. <sighs> just the chick from Ex Machina. That's, that's so <laughs> Look, would it be a remiss to say there's elements of truth on this? Do you agree? She is AI, isn't she? Like, she has just tricked everybody into the fact that she's a human being. I've dated her for seven years. I haven't seen her poop once. Oh, you know, like she, it's she is a, not a small wonder. Oh, you guys don't know what that reference is, right? No. Does, okay, here's the, I would, I, can I do this public? Does anyone, has anyone ever seen a TV show called Small Wonder? I wonder. Why was this not a thing in Australia? It was the greatest why. story. This little child okay. he sh- was a robot, but it pretended to be a human. Are you talking about fucking... Um, he's talking about that Japanese show, Astro Boy. Are you about Astro Boy? Well, I think there's like a, a, a an American version of that. Google it. If it's Astro Boy, I'm going to laugh because if, if you guys just... Oh, here we go. People know it. Vicky was awesome. A classic weird show. Oh, what's it called? So that's, uh, that's it was called Small Wonder. The character's oh. name was Vicky. Oh, so no, it I've was shown it. over here. I've never heard of it. Have you heard of that? What? You've been out of the loop, my friend. So well, I'm just trying to see if anybody cares attention. about Mitch McConnell. Well, they care about the damn dog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they There's the dog more about. important things in life. Nah, they're probably right. But like, uh, uh, come on. As if that dog wouldn't have Mitch McConnell's voice. No, it wouldn't. It would when it gets when, older. When he's like twelve years yes, old. Yes, then yeah. he'll be like, hey, yeah, "Bill Reprove." Yeah, he, he looks is, like. Is that the best line of all time? There's middle no, of no one gets to use the English language better than Mitch McConnell. Just yeah. sit there with that gabble and say, "I'm in favour of a new uh, veterans increased tax bill." Ah, uh, Bill Reprove. Like that, yeah, that, that's yeah, just yeah, amazing, yeah. isn't it? That's, that's so a good. Bill Reprove. Damn, I would be very curious to see to hear about. Is that he one of those 120 legislators that are saying, "Fuck Biden"? We don't think he won. No, no, no. He he just, just went s- there because he just understands that it doesn't matter if Biden's the president or not, and he probably like Biden more than, than Trump. Trump. Yeah, <laughs> because he'd just be sitting there saying, uh, "Donald Trump does not talk into his neck enough for somebody to be leading the United States of America." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> he is unpresidential. Has anyone said that yet? <laughs> I'm gonna put. I'm coining that. I'm coining that term. I think is unpresidential. <laughs> um, do you but, do you know like do you know uh, tomorrow is a big day? Damn, that could, that's one of the segments. That could, oh, is it one yeah. of the segments? It's called "Hello, Mr. President." <laughs> yeah, that was is there right a there. question mark at the end? But how can that be no, the segment when like this is the <laughs> one thing that is not about the president? Wait, did you say is tomorrow's it? a big day because of the ele- because of the inauguration? Is that what you were going to say? Tomorrow's not the inauguration. No, hey, what is a toilet day or something? He lied to it? you. Connor Look, lied. 20th January. That's the inauguration day. Um, tomorrow is uh, oh. Senate elections. Oh, Georgia. It's from yeah, of Georgia. Yeah, oh. That's not going to happen though, is it? Well, if it doesn't happen, then Biden is crippled. If it does happen, he's a czar. So, like, it's that important. Come on, let's get into this. D- deep Dave. I, I want to hear this. 
Well, so there's Senate elections. So every time you want to pass a bill. Yeah, yeah. No, I know, I know how a Senate, Senate works. Is it like if, hung or something right now? Yeah, yeah, it's hung. Uh, a slight advantage to the Republicans. Really? One, one, one advantage, like one seat advantage to the Republicans. And how's it looking? Not good. Not good. Shit. <laughs> so the polls are that the Republicans are going to win a seat and the Dems are going to win a seat. C, C, that is correct. One yeah. each in yeah. Georgia, is that how it works? Like you need one each? Um, well, yes, there's two senators Whoops. for every state. Um, so basically, if Again. Dems win both those seats, basically you'll see a lot more um, uh, active <coughs> policies. Because look, if, if, if the Senate's in limbo, mm. that means Biden, every time he needs to do something, he'll have to pass an executive order. And which is uh, didn't Trump which is why, why can't he just do that? I didn't really Trump sign him like crazy? Problems to it, huh? Didn't, didn't Trump sign? No, apparently he didn't sign many executive orders. Bullshit, dude. Was it? No, Obama actually signed the least amount of executive orders Sh- of all time. Yeah, I'm telling you, you really got to read his new book. Yeah, yeah, he was a pussy man. Like yeah, everyone, everyone, everyone does executive orders. You've just Trump of course they were criticized. Obama was like, oh, I've stopped having Dijon mustard after that incident. It's like fuck off, dude. Like, just what does that mean? There was like Sean Hannity made fun of him because uh, he was French. having Dijon mustard because he's like, the elite, your president oh, does not go for sake. American oh, mustard. Dude. He goes for Dijon. Oh, what? That's so Dijon. annoying. No, that actually really pisses me off. That he has <laughs> Dijon. <laughs> I've got to say. Dude, Dijon mustard is better. You're from America. Dude, you know, okay, I'm, I'm putting my vote out. Dijon's better. You know, American <laughs> mustard is like, 80% sugar. That's what they did. Yeah, they but I know that that's the only... Look, you romanticize American culture so much in all the ways that you shouldn't. Right. But the one way that you do not romanticize it where you should... Is the food. Is the food. <laughs> and instead, you just eat like a French Jew. Yeah, that's like, that's right. your entire diet. Let's like, say the same yeah. thing. It's just like, why wouldn't you want caviar? Yeah. Yeah, why wouldn't true. you want a, a, a steak that you go... Boop, like this and then uh, so bloody beautiful two main strings oh. <laughs> guys do you want to go out the back I have a nice little smoker and little tiny fish that I've got and we can smoke them and then we can smoke other things if you want and they get a nice bottle of wine do you pronounce yeah, that's croissant and then, and again if you if you look at this this is not a bicep <laughs> this is just a jar of Dijon mustard <laughs> You can just be like, surprise, open up like a little purse. Yep. <laughs> yeah, <look at> <laughs> His way. own little personal Think. drip. Ooh, it's so nice. <laughs> uh, that's <laughs> fucking funny. It's just strange that politics can be shaped by like, he did not have American mustard that's full of sugar. He opted for the French version. It's like. But the problem funny. with executive orders are they become completely irrelevant as soon as the president goes. Who cares? He's the president for the next four years. Well, and I assumed that after that. Like, I, I can't think that far in the future. That's a yeah. long time. Sometimes you need stability. Like, there's a lot of Wait. countries that would um, that would create policies depending on whatever Biden's... Because, ex- look, l- let's, that's let's what be I'm real. Saying. We're talking about climate change over here, so yeah. let's not, like, beat around the bush. Right. So climate change, yeah. there would be a lot of other countries that would... Or in a lot of companies, uh, multinational corporations, that would invest based on whatever the yeah. policy was. And really? if they felt that there wasn't... St- Let's say, let's imagine like Joe Biden comes in and says, my target is by 2030, I want all new cars to be electrical. That's something that Europe is doing, for instance. That's great for like a lot of these electric companies that would be like, okay, American market sounds great. But what you don't want is someone to come in four years later and say, no, nah, I'm going to reverse that. Because that means yeah. they're going to have to invest billions of dollars in setting up plans because you need to be able to like manage the supply. So it all depends on stability. And executive orders are not stable. But uh, hold on a sec. If you pass an executive order... And any and judge pa- could also turn it over. D- so is an executive order just a way to pass a law? That's it. That's that. So once... Cause if yeah, it's, it's a way to circumvent but the normal process but of then passing in, law. In that essence, how is that any less significant than a Democrat majority Senate? Because it's passing It can't be way. turned over. They would have to vote again to get it turned over. Uh, there you go. So it's just uh, so it's only temporary when you have an executive order. Well, another president could choose to continue. Yeah, but it's less. It's more really. Risky. Let's more be risky. honest. All laws are pretty much executive orders, aren't they? No, if it's a normal law that gets the passed constitution, like the, it yeah, takes like, all you know, ages. It's these senates and Congress. <laughs> these little 
Mishmish. <laughs> I really wish they weren't there. I, I honestly wish the Senate wasn't there. I'm I starting to. I, I, the Senate I'm so on board much. with you. Go, go big or go home. It's like either way. It's like we're going to go really bad or really good. I, I kind of agree with him. I really liked and the system in Rome after the late Republic. You should just have the Emperor and then you should have this Senate that they ignore. Dude, you were doing some <laughs> research into this, right? And you came up with the conclusion. Dude, the founding fathers were crazy. They just yeah. wanted anarchy. <laughs> Wasn't yeah. that? Wasn't that? No. No, no, they didn't want anarchy. They just wanted power to remain exactly the way that it was. They wanted the English system, essentially. No, 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 no. They didn't want the English system. They wanted the Roman system. Roman they system. They based it entirely off of that. Off they they the based Roman. themselves off of it. Like, yeah. George Washington used to pose with wheelbarrows all the time to look like Cincinnati, who was Damn. one of the heroes of ancient Rome. That's pretty boss, though. Have I told you guys that story before? I probably have. No, yes. you haven't. But Rome, it's a very total yeah, war. Rome, total war. I've, Mini edition I've, and very, very sporadic. I get yes. I got yes, this. the sound in Sim City when you build a stadium. That's, yeah, that's how exciting no, it is. No, that's you walking into a gladiator stadium. Do it again. Just do the walk. Go. Cool. Okay, hang Push on. the button. Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I can't win a fight against Arvi Yemeni, <laughs> if I'm going to win a fight against a guy with one of those masks true. on with a bombing. Yeah, knock. <laughs> true, 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 true. Oh, no, wait, no, no. I want to hear the story, though. Cincinnati. Yeah. yeah. Giving you the thing that you deserve. He was a Roman noble that uh there was an invading army coming to rome this was the early days of the republic and so they had this law that you could become dictator for six months and if in case of emergency so the senate came to him and they said you're going to be dictator so that you can defend this army and then he was just at his land plowing it by himself oh i know this story it's so Isn't good. It incredible so good oh, yeah. i don't know the story sorry, sorry sorry yeah well the legend goes that uh they said you've got to become dictator. And he goes, all right, if my country needs me, then my country needs me. So he put down his plow, headed the Roman army, clobbered the enemy, and then as soon as that finished, walked back into Rome, took the little wreath off his head, put it down, and then walked back to his farm and then picked the plow up again. <laughs> Just kept going. It's one of the most boss stories in human history, isn't it? So sick. That is, it's amazing. Can I? Yeah. Can I just? He preferred corn over being so dictator. Good. So Amer so American. So the right thing. You know, such a such a hero for an American to choose. Yeah. Can I tack another one on top of that? Another Rome total war that he told me about, just because I thought it was no. Amazing. Don't you think like Americans would actually hate that? Americans, nah. I think Australians would appreciate that. Be like, where yeah. man like. Furniture, whatever the fuck it was. Man like plowing uh, snow. That's what he was doing. But, but Americans would be like, you fucking moron. You had, to, you had the chance to be ultra rich. I don't know. I mean, Washington liked it, right? Like you yeah. Said. Yeah, but Washington well, look, was I don't also think that ultra rich. All Americans are Snoop Dogg. <laughs> Most of them are. Most of them are. Look, maybe you're right. I, I think know. there's like this whole like uh, aspirational Money thing King. about Americans. Yeah, there is. But well, see, the thing is, America didn't exist, did it? It was just this fledgling yeah, idea in George Washington's mind mm. that he, as a landowner, could have slightly more power than he had. <sighs> it was pretty much it. It was just like, he, that, 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 was, that was the dream, right? Right. So, but they did base it off of the Roman system. I'm currently reading, reading a lot about this now because I'm doing a stand-up show about it. Yes. So, I, well, you're doing a stand-up show. Oh, about like the, what's the stand-up show? What's the... That's, dude, that's going like to be Rome? sick. It's going to be about Rome. From Rome. I'm keen well, as it's fuck. going to be entirely about Julius Caesar. I went. I talked about this in a previous oh, pod, and everybody just got extremely angry about what? it. What? I didn't realize that history is just kind of inconsequential politics. <laughs> you know, <laughs> people are very passionate about politics that happened two thousand years ago. I yeah. There's a certain subsector, I love anyway, it. and I think that it's actually a lot bigger than people that are actually interested in current politics. I dude. I every time you talk about Rome, like my eyes light up it's just so much more everything is more dramatic everything is more you know uh, exaggerated and fantastical and mm. it's 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 great because it's now but everyone was wearing capes exactly and that assassin's creed guy existed exactly and it's just a story stories are always interesting yeah, it's fables. but also don't you think the same people that thought that doing a show about julius caesar is stupid were the ones who would have thought doing a show about uh, why John Howard really sucked was stupid, or media bias is really stupid. Oh, they, they Both of them were really good shows. They don't shows. think it's stupid. It's just that they agree with the, to quote the Simpsons, stupid school books 
If you want to know the real way that Jerry Caesar was killed, you must be 18. And you must be 18 because I do what in pubs. I'm cheap. I'm not going to the theatres. Wait a sec, wait a sec, wait a sec. What is that joke? He actually says that. What? It was the Simpsons joke. Do you want to see the real, do you want to know the real way Julius Caesar was killed? He, he says something about the founding forefathers and then Lisa so, says, that's not how it happened. That's because you trust your stupid school books. That's so And then he said, good. and the nation is born. Now let us party. Like to a 1799. <laughs> <laughs> Simpsons is on point so consistently that I just believe that verbatim. That wasn't even a joke. That was just accurate. I think that that probably was right as yeah, well. I think yeah. that the Simpsons did have access to the official history of the yeah. signing of the Declaration yeah. of Independence. I agree. This is a fact. Marilini says, loved Spartacus, the TV series. I have seen it, Marilini, and if I may say so, I saw it as a young boy <laughs> and the sex scenes were insane. <laughs> yeah. Off the hook. Uh, as, a, as a 13-year-old, oh the Holy God. Grail. For for like I remember, it I was bet like there was a lot of blood involved. No, ah, they're not that kind of ah. sex scenes. See, I'm never a fan of sex scenes in movies. Dude, as I a 13 year old, that's all you want. <laughs> or uh-huh. bust. Yeah, porn or bust. Yeah. And it has to start with that little animation of the wings on that bus for some reason on Bang Bros. <laughs> yeah, otherwise, I'm not in. I'm the opposite. As soon as it gets porny, as soon as it becomes porn, I'm I don't I don't I don't want none of that. Look, yeah, we're, you're we're like getting off topic here, though. Rage over it. Are we? <laughs> I mean, it is the meta topic of this podcast. I know it is, but like, I want to hear about the show and, and tell me, like, you, you're going on with something there. You're All saying right, the well, real history. See, this is the thing that people don't understand about minor parties and why I have such a opposition to them is because historically all throughout history democracy always just goes into two blocks mm. which is why I think it's stupid to start other smaller parties because those two blocks I agree too. really... It's just naturally how things converge. There's yeah. no upper conspiracy here or something. It's just like if you want a shift in power, you have to be able to match that power. It's just a numbers it's, game. It's, it's a, a numbers, numbers game. game. It's attrition. Yeah. Um, but what was happening in Rome was there was just two opposing parties. The Optimates, I think is how you pronounce it. I could be completely wrong. Like I, I just started reading this very dense book about it. And then the Populari, who were, I guess, the version of Labour, but okay. their version of Labour, which is the Democrats. So it was just aristocrats that were a bit nicer. <laughs> 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 but well, you know what else as well? I will read I this because I've been reading like... between Labour Party and these guys then. Yeah, uh, see, here we go. All right. <laughs> and, uh, and you know what the other thing as well is? Ali Labor, legitimately believes Labor that. Labor, uh, no. liberal, two, well. two parts of their butt cheek. What's the difference? <laughs> I mean, look, there's the elements you try. Both shoot near shit. That's right. Um, do you agree with this statement? I will let you finish that, but, like, uh, someone just sent... I definitely... Australia, Aust XYZ says, Caesar wanted to destroy the Senate because of its nepotism, so history made him the tyrant. Yes, that's exactly it. Finally, someone gets it. Yeah, that's because that's really freaking me out. That all throughout history, I just learnt this, and I was talking to other people that just never really studied Roman history or anything like that. Everybody has the understanding that Julius Caesar was this evil tyrant that was trying to take power for himself. The only reason that you would have a counter to that, because this is the other thing that I've noticed as well, a lot of chicks think that Caesar was awesome. And I thought that was just because Caesar's hot. But <laughs> well, how do we know? Because he was played by Orlando Bloom in some movie. Yeah, I think so. I think that's it. But like, I, I think it's because, in general, men read nonfiction, women read fiction. So their understanding of Caesar would come from... Because every time I've asked these chicks, they've always just said, I read Shakespeare's Caesar. And Shakespeare was showing Caesar as being a king. Not, you know, a, a king in the Australian sense of legend. Yeah, yeah. He was showing him as a legend. Because I think that that's just always what happens throughout history is artists depict your Gough Whitlam's of history in a good light. Yeah, The artists are going to be doing that, but also painting them in a dumb light as well. Because let's just be honest, Caesar is pretty much just a Baz Luhrmann film. <laughs> that's all this, the, I, the, the, the Shakespeare one it. is. It's not historically accurate at all. Right. It's just all about the love interest. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's schmaltzy. But yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I have snarky opinions about Shakespeare. <laughs> <laughs> how did, I'm, I, did, I want to know something. How did you, Jordan? How did you even get into um, Roman history? Like what, the game what? for sure, right? No, you know what it was. It was because my cousin, who pretty much just went to his own Steiner school of his making, he, he went to a he was just homeschooled, and so he learned whatever he wanted. 
and got to get up Shit. whenever he liked. Damn, no fair. It's just what happens when you, you're homeschooled. Everybody, the, the, there's supposed to be these criteria that Department of Education oh, yeah. signs off on. But let's be honest, all that happens is you get to watch all of Dragon Ball Z without taping it. Yeah. That's, that's what happens. And become socially awkward. <laughs> that's all the only reason that you go to school. And yeah. I was saying this to Neil the other day on the other podcast. I really think that I should have just gone to school until year eight, dropped out, and then been homeschooled. That would have really helped as a YouTuber, I think, just to study yeah, whatever you wanted. Early. You should have dropped out. No, yeah. as soon as you get a, as soon as you get in your head, no, you're out of kings. You have to go back to dance. No, you're out. And you go, I all right, fine. And you go there. You've graduated social dynamics. You, you, you know everything there is to know about social dynamics. Really? You'll just move on with your life. You'd be fine with girls. You'd meet a girl and be like, are you dance or king? Uh, what are you <laughs> saying? <laughs> dance or king? And just feel them, like, feel them up. <laughs> um, <laughs> it makes a fair point here. The question is, what matters in life? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, nah. you know what? I think we all know this. Better understanding of Roman law. Okay. <laughs> Nothing music says Did you're, oh, you're, Napoleon's You're very lucky to have Newtown <laughs> Yeah, true Anyway, go on no, Nothing music says Napoleon's story is hella wild too Gets exiled Then just walks back into France And says to the army There to stop Are you gonna kill your general? And they join him Against the new French government That's true Also Um wasn't like uh, right after this they went back against him and then he was sent back to that island or killed or something? Did you learn that from Blame Mears? No. <laughs> I haven't seen it. I haven't seen either. it either. I just assume it's about Napoleon. <laughs> no, no, know. but I, because I know Le Napoleon Mies. is famous for this story. Le Napoleon Mies. was exiled to like this shitty little island and everyone thought he was done with. Go on, I want to go to that island. He managed to escape back, comes back. Uh, the army is about, because he's, he's not supposed to be running the show and he says, um, are you going to like be with me or are you going to be against me? And like the entire army just like switch sides. Whoa, yeah, really? That happened. Really? And that's that's something that's been told. That's what the, um, the fan was saying. But also right after that, he was still. <laughs> he became like the leader again for a very short time before he was either killed or he was sent back into exile. Right. It's very funny thinking that one in one period of history, France was calling the shots. Of the world? <laughs> well, that's yeah. why Napoleon is famous because I think it was the only that point. Yeah, that was it. That was like <laughs> that's all I had. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe Napoleon three had some clout. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know anything about I, the yeah, you know, Enlightenment yeah. age or whatever yeah. it is. Um, but yeah, so the um, uh, so essentially that he did sum summate that he was trying to break up. Uh, that 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 emperor was trying to break up like bureaucracy and then because because well, it was, it's a, well, I want to do the uh, stand up stand up is show. because it's never changes mm. it's like yeah. ancient ancient history isn't that ancient yeah it's the same fights yeah over and over and over and over, over, and over, over again and the same dream. loss over and over yeah. and over again Jesus it, what was Julius Caesar fighting against land ownership and what what was happening huge property bubble in Rome yeah, housing forced everybody to live in slums of twelve people. So you'd just be living with twelve strangers, two families that didn't know each other. In hey, that's you, Miss. Yeah, me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, see, that's what's happening. Yeah, your classic ancient yeah. Roman citizen. Yeah, I am. That's sort you. of like I yeah. have more. And also, your only skill in life is cooking fish. <laughs> that's insane, really. Dude, it's where I belong. I'm not denying that. Not denying that for a second. You know, I'm very happy to be like. Did you get this fish? <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're not wrong. Banks, same thing. It was just saying to them, you can't charge 50% interest. reducing that is that sustainable? And you know what else he was doing? Creating unions. Damn. He was organising unions. And so Damn. the uh, Optimates, who the... It's so good that it's just the, the Optimus Prime. Yeah. That was their name, I guess. But th they yeah, hated Optimate. him. Yeah. The Mitch McConnell of the day. Right. They're sitting there just being, I don't see the point. <sighs> Bank reform, we just really need to have a stern talking to them. Yeah. Uh, reducing to maybe to 49%. Yeah. So that was all happening. So he just came in and pretty much just realized what I think everybody in history realizes, which is just like, fuck, come on. Benevolent dictatorship. That's where it's at, baby. And yeah, so he, I mean, look, I'm not going to agree, but you make a lot of points for it. I give you that much, you know. 
Yeah, well, How there's, do you there's nothing the that you can control the benevolent bit of it. You don't. <laughs> I just think that look, you, you listen to what Caesar was actually talking about back in the day, and he was just he was coming from the right place, and I think it was exactly what you were talking about. It was the other great hero, the the, the um, underrated hero of history, Hitler. <laughs> he, <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> no, but he was saying, you know, how his, his hell, point in mind camp was just like you don't understand the population. <laughs> until you've hung out with the aristocracy and you've hung out with brickies. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was Julius Caesar because he went and his, his family fell out of favourship because it was linked to Marius, who was the earlier predecessor version of him that was destroyed by Sulla, who became dictator. And Marius was trying to do the same thing that Caesar was doing, but he got killed, fell out of favour, and so he had to work his way up in the military ranks. So he started at the bottom and knew what it was like for soldiers, and he understood that they would be going out conquering new lands, and then they'd come back, and then their little shitty parcel of land would just be consumed by an aristocrat that would just be taking their land and saying, well, it fell into remission, it fell into debt, so I, I just took it along. You know? mm-hmm. So that was happening, and so there'd be all these vets coming back, just like they do in America now, homeless. Yeah. Hey, go out and fight all them wars. Really? Yeah, that's what was happening. So he just realised, okay, well, we've got to do some land reforms here. So he understood the plight of the average, the, the every man in Rome. Mm. And so it, it was just the same. It's the same story over and over. And so that's really what I want to get to in the, in the, uh, in the stand-up show. It's just really Aren't explaining that, like, uh, it's... Everyone saying politics doesn't shout change. Shout out Panthera. We and and say but dude, Panthera. you know what else is amazing? This is the thing that I really, really like. Yeah, shout out Panthera. <laughs> it's a bit late now, but <laughs> it's all. But good. you know what's coming, and uh, yeah, there, there was what I found amazing about it is first off, uh, the big U.S. think tanks to this day, the the people that, that are the wealthy elites that control society. Hold up back in the beginning of the US Empire. I mean, sorry, at the beginning of the US, all throughout the US Empire, the Koch brothers to this day, what do they name their think tanks after? Cato, the Cato Institute. He was part of those Optimus Primes. Really? He was the Republicans back then. He was one of the big figures of the Republicans. Right. And he was seen as just like a hero. Those that the, the Republicans still see those uh, late Roman Republic figures that controlled the Senate as the ideal leaders uh, to this day, and they still use the same arguments. Isn't that incredible? That when Caesar was saying things like, we need to reform land so that 10 people don't have 90% of the land in Italy and stuff like that, they would be arguing, uh, saying that somebody can't acquire 90% of Italy is an infringement on freedom. Yeah. We, we can't have this. It's, it's, it's a total attack on the liberty of our founding forefathers in Rome. Yeah. Using the same arguments. That's cra- You need to do the stand-up. Yeah, you do. Uh, dude, Isn't it I, incredible? V- it, is, it is actually incredible. Yeah. I will, I will it, just, it borders that philosophy. You know, the, the really thing is. of like every story is the same. Yeah. There is no story yeah. that, are, that is different from each other. No, I think it's just a constant, relentless power struggle that happens, and I think that it is just the inevitable result of democracy, and that's why I'm going on... I've said it a million times on the private podcast, but I'm saying it here. I just think it's a sham. I just think mm. it's just a complete scam. I don't, <laughs> I don't really think it works. Yeah. And look, saying that, there was all of these trials and tribulations, and uh, all throughout history there was moments where the uh, working class of Rome organised and got little concessions here and there. And they were saying that, you know, the Roman Republic is an ongoing project, but it was like fucking 500 years. It's 500 years and you could still just have a Senate that would say, hey, yeah, can we increase, like, the dole slightly? Mm, Nah, that's the end of that. Another hundred years. Yeah, that, <laughs> Come back in a hundred years and we might talk about yeah, it. That's you, you just have like, to back that's you. like a new start. Yeah. That's literally like yeah. our story. Do, do, do you do yeah. you back his 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 uh, oh, abolish the Senate thing? Um, look, I understand the argument because we went to Canberra for a like impromptu tour of the uh, what's it called? I nearly said White House, Parliament House. Yeah. Saying and, shit, and uh, you know it was mad because it was just like it was literally that thing of like, do you want the real insiders tour? You must be over eighteen. I was because obviously like I was the driver and shit. I'm like sure. And it was like the friendly Jimmy's does uh, Parliament House tour. And it was just like 
you, you know, it was just the kind of shit. It was like, see that portrait of you know Julia Gillard? Yeah, it's like at your wig, just that kind of shit. Like, <laughs> like you know what I mean? And like, uh, and uh, like, like the insider yeah, scoop. It was the entire scoop, and like, wait, she wore a wig? No, I'm joking. I was just, oh, the, but like, I but, wish that was. But true. dude, how good is this? We went into the Senate, and I was just like, damn, the government, eh? Not too bad. And then Jerome was just like, I'm like, ah, the Senate, pretty fucking big. Like, I thought the Senate was like six people that sat like. You know, on like I thought it was like ten people that sat on like it a, pretty much is every bill I've ever seen passed. There is exactly yeah. six people. But then he, but it was really cool to to see it in real time because then we did, it was completely open to. We could have like we could have like uh you know I don't know like had a beach party in Parliament. There was no yeah, security. We could have. I could have stolen and those books. I could have taken those books that are like thou shalt not steal encroach on my billabong. Yeah, I could have taken that home. I could be reading that shit now. As isn't long this, as you're wearing masks, isn't then, this? We then. weren't wearing masks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. But, uh, no, but freedom, dude, Ali, let, it's let called me, freedom. Let me also say, how mislove is this? Taking him to Parliament House. We're running late. We've got a really important meeting to talk about uh, uh, yeah, water theft, right? Good. That was good. Uh, we are late. We are late. With like a meeting with like bureaucrats. And uh, I'm saying, I've got to go. And so I, I start walking around and then I, hear, I feel this tug on my shirt. And he says, you're not leaving until you explain to me what are in those books on that table. (laughs) 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 And literally I was like, is that the law or what? Is that just the law? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, are they the original books? Is there anything in those pages about a billabong? Yeah, (laughs) quote, quote. He was actually saying, how many of those books do you think are about billabong? (laughs) (laughs) Verbatim, I said that. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> but but, but, the, but the, the point I was getting at was we went there and then we went to the... Dude, r- you know what is amazing? Like, sorry, I was just going to say... No, no, go, okay, yeah. Mislav is interested in politics, but he's interested in the most boring parts of it. <laughs> I think the I The parts am. that everyone else just makes them fall asleep, right? Yeah. That's what he sits there and... <laughs> Ponders. It's fucking weird. It's true. Like, I was asking him, like, how many people... How often... People sit in parliament. Where do they sit? Are they required to sit for this long? Like just bullshit details. That yeah. that interest. It's fucking weird. Yeah. <laughs> were, were those trash cans here when Paul Keating was around? <laughs> no, seriously. Have they been upgraded? No, no. Did yeah. you know what? You could probably. There are like those uh, <laughs> the political buffs that actually research on this shit. I need that shit, man. I need. I'm, I'm just like, like Keating. Actually, that, that trash can was first introduced by Harold Hawke. Yeah. I, I, I really <laughs> don't like the fact that we're not a developing nation because there would have been hawkers there, like in Pakistan or something. Yeah. Like, Hello, sir. Would you like to know what the books yeah. are? Yeah. <laughs> that would have been <laughs> sick. Instead, it's fucking empty. And most but of the time, they don't know shit, too. <laughs> They're like, uh, you know what the books are? Uh, you do? Well, I'm going to ask that a guy and come back to you. One second. 500 rupees, please. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's so true. Rupees, rupees. Uh, but like, my, my point my point was like, you know, I was like, the Senate, huh? You know, yeah, not bad. And then we went into the real government and then I was just, and then uh, uh, Jordan was just like, see, like the Senate is a giant room that is made to put wedges and checks and balances in things, in policies. And I'm like, why? Why have a whole other chamber room just being like, should we do this? Mm, nah. Oh, okay, yeah. Hey, actually, no, 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 no. Change my mind. Like, fuck that. Well, just like indecisive mums of f- people. Like a, a, a room full of Karens being like, no, I don't think so. Well, I do think so. Well, I don't fuck, fucking think so. That's so right. Yeah, the Australian is- Senate, a room full of Karens. Yeah. That's it. Very accurate description. It's good, right? Yeah. So like, and seeing real parliament, I was like, this room is big enough. There's a fuckload of seats here. I think we can, this is, this is where the games should be played. And isn't it weird that when you went into the Senate, which used to be described as Paul Keating as the death house. Right. Uh, yeah. Why? Because oh, it was it's just so it. dusty. It was kind of, it, it still is today. It's where the major parties put the people that are owed favours. Of the Senate? You know, former right. presidents, <laughs> uh, the heads of house. unions that need to go somewhere. Oh, okay. They just chuck them in there. Jesus Christ. There's no action there. Do yeah. they even have question time for the Senate? <sighs> Don't tell I me. No. But they play Monopoly no, they do, in there. They no, they do, they do, they do. They okay. play it's Monopoly. It's like, uh, it's when, uh, what's his name? Uh, the Attorney General for uh, Malcolm Turnbull. I don't even know. Right, because I... I've seen I'm sure they, they must because, yeah, there is ministers there, so they must and be Penny Wong's questions. a senator, right? Yeah. I've seen her do oh, questions. Oh, really? Well, she does both. Hmm? 
Penny Wong does both. She's a senator. She's a senator. What do you mean both? Oh, I thought she was. I didn't know. I thought she was in parliament. Penny no, Wong. no, she's in the senate. Um, and no, just I reckon that's the way to do it. You you abolish the senate. Uh, Why yeah. have your talent split? Just put all your. Talent I kind in the of one agree, set. and then it's like, and then in a way, well, it's not even talent. Like it's but literally but a way for the rich to control. Yeah, politics. And like if you think it about it, explicitly, it was yeah. And if you think made yes, for that yeah, purpose. yes, yeah. And if you, uh, always yeah. has been. And if you think about it in a numbers game, and even from an optics game, wouldn't you rather it be really fucking bad or really fucking good instead of this bullshit malaise of like, oh yeah, some things are good, some things are bad. We're passing this thing, but if we pass this thing, this other thing could possibly go down the down the line, and this other thing so ambiguous and well, stilted and I halted, and it's like a Miss Carriage that's broken, right? Mm. I grew up thinking that that system was sick. Right. Like having those checks and balances. And in the long run, the system so produces better results. I mean, I get... We all got that. But that's maybe indoctrination. I maybe swear it's an argument. It is an argument. argument. But I think like... Uh, look, that argument was solidified as a child for me when I looked around and I saw, oh shit. How fucking like the, bad All the countries How bad that actually be. adopt this model are doing fucking awesome. And all yeah. the countries that don't adopt this model are doing shit. So that's that in itself. Corrupt. If you're corrupt, if you but now like the bad. world that we're living in now, the young kids that are growing up, they're not looking like they look at China saying like, "Oh shit, that's like a rich, successful country," and they're not. They don't have that. So I think maybe it's time that we uh, Rethink. revisit yes. some of these ideas. I think it's fair and see what's working Dude, and is, what's this not. Is, working. This is what I would say. If you're pa- if you are inherently corrupt, I'm not saying this country isn't corrupt. But if you are have ex- extreme, blatant, outright corruption, the two party system is a bad idea. You need checks and balances. But if you, but I think that that system just naturally produces that. The it's two party. Wait, the two. P- no, no, no. It's it's designed. The if you Senate have like a, a lower house and an upper house, the Senate it's going to do that. Yeah, it, like uh, exactly. It's, is there an it's example? Just so inefficient. Is in, so India, Pakistan, all these countries have the same system as us. Yes. Yeah. But in Pakistan, yeah. it's okay. actually worse. You can literally appoint senates. Okay. Senators. So, well, dude, you're That's old school. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it's dude, done. Well, you know what? But can you do this? Can you just <sighs> increase the number of senators if you don't like what's Jesus, coming through? Jesus, that's... Mm. You can do that. Yes, you can. Well, if I you, mean, you back in the old days, in the 20s, that's what premiers used to do when they couldn't get anything passed. Wow. You could do that, but you'd have to get it. You have had to. You would have to pass it. Mm. Dude, so, I, I'm with you on it. Because I thought... I thought Pakistan was a two-party thing. I didn't know they had a Senate. No, Pakistan, Australia isn't a two-party. No, thing, I know. Right? Yeah, but Pakistan is exactly like Australia. Yeah, so in that case, Ex- I mean, it's not. I but think, like it is. yeah, but yeah, I, it is. In, yeah. in theory, I think couldn't tell the difference. I think <laughs> <laughs> India, same. I think all the evidence or a lot of the evidence in that case would be pretty conclusive on the side of just have a two two-party fuck off the Senate. Look, I think that all the, the two party has nothing to do with the Senate. Just so you know, what do you, well, no, no, no. He's saying two house system. I oh, guess. two houses, Labor and Liberal. Those are two. So look, even if you didn't have the Senate, yeah. you would still have two parties. Yeah, I know that. I know. If that. you do have the Senate, you would still have two parties. No, I know that. I'm saying abolish the Senate. I'm just yeah, saying yeah. also abolish abolish Greens while you're at and it. And look at it. When <laughs> was the last time that Howard was booted out? When he won the Senate, yeah. so he could just pass whatever he wanted. So you get the right. full brunt of what he wants. Is that why he got booted out? And oh, all GST, all right? GST. Was it GST that huh? sunk him? Is he talking about John Howard? No, no, no. GST, he glided through twice on that. Oh, the Labour you know, Party ran on it twice. What booted You know what, who the other out? big... Kevin Rudd. Yeah, but what policy did he... It wasn't anything to do with that. Yeah, it was just it was that just Kevin Rudd is a genius and he was able to manipulate the media. Yeah, he looks like uh, the Marshmallow like, like yeah. But Yeah, look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not going to vote for that? <laughs> I, I would have. Uh, but yeah... Queensland tried to do... This is the other hurdle that you will get as soon as you try to abolish any uh, Senate. Um, The courts, the judiciary hate that shit. Queensland tried to do it. New South Wales tried to do it. Queensland did do it. Yeah. Queensland was successful in doing it. They're the only state that yeah. doesn't have a lot. Queensland has not right. he, he doesn't have the, that thing. Yeah, it's you're two, right. Yeah. Queensland... But, what, but Man, the did, more I look they at did early... It. Like they it, it, they used to have a senate. Yes. Yeah, but now they don't. But Jack they Lang was really close. Jack now. Lang was really close to abolishing the senate. Really, yeah. but the courts fucked him over. The yeah, courts, the courts said, fucked him over because they wouldn't let him. Do they have referendums on this kind of thing? Huh? You know how they're like they're like should we uh, ban gay marriage? Do a vote? Do they do that to uh, legalize? What do they do? You can do that for anything, really. 
So, so it's not out of question to think, to think that New South Wales or the, the the whole nation could vote to abolish the Senate. <laughs> no, no, no party would al- allow that referendum. I don't think it would be a referendum, though, would it? Wouldn't it just be the party that is in power saying we're getting rid of the Senate? You know what? Party I and think, then voting I themselves think out. This love is onto something over here. The only foolproof way of ensuring this without it getting legally challenged, because even if you pass that, um, there's going to be a lot of uh, cases against you that is going to challenge the constitutional validity of the law of abolishing the Senate. A referendum shuts everything up. Mm. No oh, one can go against a referendum. Yeah, well, By the way, that uh, gay marriage one was not a referendum. Oh, okay. See, it was just a the, poll. I'm so sick of all these shit referendums. Why? Aren't they good? Monarchy. Or like, yeah, like... Maybe we've just... The plebiscite wasn't, but it's the same thing. They always give you these really, like, meaningless oh, in the grand scheme yeah, of they're always, things to yeah, vote no, 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 really I, it should I be. I see what you're saying. Is there going to be a Senate or No, I see what you're saying. That should be yeah, the vote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Post-Brexit, you're not getting, getting any meaningful referendums. Why? Because there's a reason why they're always kind of bullshit. Because they don't want any real big issue. Right. Yeah, of course. Because, like, what if you... Because with Brexit, they also learned, like, you go, you can... Because that was there's a an answer that, that was the government. Right? Will, yeah, that Damn, was a referendum. We have such unpopular views for our generation, don't we? No Senate, and I like the Queen. <laughs> <laughs> I don't particularly like, her, but I also That's I don't. So weird. <laughs> At least we're bonded together in our in our weakness. brothers in arms. Yeah. Let let uh, Prince <laughs> we shall overcome <laughs> curtsy politics, the, the democratic part of our system, and keep the thing that could just nullify no. prime minister on a weird. No, no, no. <laughs> we're not saying it's uh, too abolishing the Senate Look. isn't undemocratic. Huh? You just established no, that they, it's they, a scam. Like, no, but you can argue vote that on it, and, but if, you know, if, if the governor general pushed by the queen says you're gone, you're gone. <laughs> But yeah. you know what? I think. But even, I want that. Even for the Queen. It was worth like, Gough Whitlam. Dude, that's all, all I'm you know saying. What, you know what that is, though? The well, whole like, curse Kerr Kerr thing. That's just, a, that's just a really good tourist uh, ticket. You know what I mean? Like, the, the fact that the Queen can abolish whoever they want, that's like going for one of those really good double decker tours in London. It's like, you want the full experience? Yeah, live in the full experience, yeah? Yeah. Have a meat pie. Yeah. You know? I can't I'm a big fan. Mm. <laughs> I there's something that just pisses me off about the Republic, and I think it was just the fact that it's championed by Malcolm Turnbull. But I also just yeah. I really, really hate symbolic stuff. I yeah, hate it so much. I, 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 I agree. I, me and you are on the same level here. It's I, time I, for everyone to hate, start hating symbolic shit, and start yeah. hating but, but, the but, Senate. But wait a second. <laughs> but, but wait a second. But you can't just gloss over this. You're, this let, let's break it down. The Senate is not really democratic. Like on maybe technically it is because it's like endless. Pontificating. It's actually undemocratic. Senate. This is what I'm the saying. Idea, well, no, because I think if, if you win it from like an ideological perspective, Senate is undemocratic. Yeah, because the de- democracy is the people. Yeah, yeah, you're right. No, yeah. but you're voting Miss people. Love in the is Senate. actually what you're saying is so correct. <laughs> this is a very academic part of it, but you're right. A Senate, yeah, you man. A Senate a doctrinally <laughs> is undemocratic. Yeah, there you go. Because it's moving the power base. From the demos, the many, yeah. to the few. Exactly. So, like, what the hell? But you're still voting for the Senate. Now you are. But this is also... Back in the day. Be, back in the day, you never were voting. Yeah. Right. You're vo- yeah, you're voting for the Senate. But but you're st- the Senate are still extra cogs in the system. But if like, you're, you know declutter what? the system. It's still de- democratic. You've just changed my opinion, Jordan. If oh, you're yeah. voting for the Senate, then what's the point of the Senate? Because you could argue before, exactly. back in the day, when they were instituting, when they were giving away power from the monarchy to the people, you could say the monarchy was like, no, we need a house of lords. We need people that can manage the majority. The majority can, th- that could be their point of view, like was their point of view, that the majority could be pretty fucked. So you need a bunch of us to make sure that they don't do something too crazy. Now that we elect our Senate, so the Senate is also elected by the many, yeah. then yeah. what's the what's the point of its existence? It's just doubling up. It making things exactly. confusing. It, and by you're making yeah. it confusing to ensure it's yes. actually serving the same purpose, but you're garbing it in a way that actually people think... And it's yeah. about it is like... Yeah. You've just, totally. And, and on top of that, you've completely inverted the point of it in the beginning, which was to just put it in a bunch of stable hands that can just manage democracy, right? Yeah. Mm. But now, because we just have this so uh, democratic system, you, our entire democracy lies in the hands of like five nutbags. 
Yeah, that's really what it is. It's always just this cross bench of fringe well, that's, weirdos. Well, that's kind of that's kind of a different. That's almost like a more arg- argument of like the banks and big business and stuff. But like generally, even on like a simplistic level, it's like you know it, the Senate and the government. It's like you're just doubling up bureaucracy. Double, there's m- just putting more cogs in the system. It's like if you look at some someone like China, I'm not the biggest fan of China. You know. Uh, this dude in between two commies, whatever. They got I'm their own points. I'm that to like, I'm the biggest fan of China. <laughs> but, dude, <laughs> why two commies and a pizza play. Why, why do you... <laughs> pepperoni. Uh, oh, Peking true. duck pizza. Uh, why... And you know what's also tra- bad about it as well? I'm not into communism because of the hippie shit. I'm into oh. it because of the authoritarian shit. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, dude, but all I'm saying is like, look at, look at China in terms of effectiveness. What... One party. Look at how they're just taking over the world. And it's like maybe us having Penny Wong, Penny Wong or whoever sitting there, you know, just being like eh, 11% to 12% on a proposal for park reform in regional Queensland. Man, I think like... I'm going to sit on it for a while. You can't compare yeah. like... You can't I don't com- think and that that's happens in the Senate all the time. Yeah. You're so right. I'm going to sit on it. I don't that think happens. that's an effective You can't compare China though. I've been but, like, but, but, but the like, more I read can. up on it, Why not? You can. Because like, you know, their system is truly foreign to us. The way I they, know that. The way they, By the way, I listened to that whole thing you told me to listen to. What? That oh, whole, did you? I listened to all of it, yeah. How crazy. Damn. It is very interesting. But one of the things that I think is mentioned on that too is... <laughs> the way it's going on, you know how like if you want to be like, Jordan, let's say you want to be the premier, right, of New South Wales, you mm. have to kind of grow up in New South Wales. You have to join New South Wales politics at some point. The system, yeah, that's the system, and you end up representing your home state. Gang. That is not how it happens in China. Like they appoint premiers, and those premiers. So the current president, the current uh, president of China, Xi Jinping, has been the premier of five to six different states. And the mm. and they're and they're this, this is how they do it. Like they'll appoint you a premier of a state and say our targets are that you increase the state's GDP by three t- three times mm. in the next five years. Get on it. Yeah. If you're able to do it, then you move on to like a slightly better state that you've got to manage. So their whole system isn't based. It's on a like reward system. It's it's well, you could argue that it's based on like merit. Yeah. That you can only do it if you're actually really good at it. Competency. The they, they reward competency. What a strange system. The other thing that I learned <laughs> about China was also interesting. I always thought, and there, this is like a common Western point of view where they say, uh, do you know how many protests happen in China in a year? They are way more than most other countries. That means that there's a lot of dissatisfaction amongst the Chinese population. You aren't able to see that because the media blocks and all that stuff, right? And I thought that was kind of true. Like, yeah, of course, if there's protests, if there's more protests in China than most countries, clearly people are dissatisfied. Completely incorrect. Because of their system of meritocracy or the way they appoint people, they appoint Mm. bureaucrats Mm. to these positions, they encourage protests if it gets too insane. So every time there's a protest, people are protesting their current premier or their current councillor to the Communist Party. So every time the Communist Party intervenes, their position solidifies. So people are protesting not against the Communist Party. They are protesting to the Communist Party to relieve them from their local councillors. Oh, wow. So every so it's, time it's there's a, a ch- protest, it's, 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 it's a, the a Communist parade. Party is it's a getting parade. more powerful. Yeah, it's a parade. It's not a fucking and this protest. And this is how this, the Central Committee uh, looks at these protests. They uh, go like, okay, if the protest is too crazy, if it's, it's too much, then look into what's happening. Fire the guy, put in someone else, the people get happy. And because they're China, if the protest is happening because of what we've asked the Premier to do, let's say... Um, the pre- the premier's like you need to triple your GDP in three years. The premier says the only way we can do this is if we stop manufacturing cars and we start going yeah. into agriculture, right? Just and the communist party says, all right, sounds like based on good data, do it. Now, if the car manufacturers start protesting against the local premier, then the communist party is going to squ- squash that protest. But if the car, ma- well, I'm just giving yeah, you as an yeah, example, yeah, like yeah, yeah. because sometimes it could just be based on different economic decisions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So either way, what I'm saying is. Every time there's a protest, 
if the demands are met or if the demands aren't met. Just quickly, wait a sec. In that, in the, that the central communist party keeps getting more and more powerful. Just in that example, yeah. is the car company at the whim of the government? Yeah. No, that's the other thing. The car company has less influence. They still have influence, yeah. but less influence than a car company would have in Australia, for example. Like yeah. you can, one of the examples is like Holden, right? Holden uh, shut down its plant and now it's gone back to US or wherever they're making it. Technically speaking, if you are like an economist, that should have happened 10 years ago. Mm. But it didn't. Yeah. For whatever it's reason, right? Whatever, I'm right. talking about purely in an economical yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah, It should have happened. I personally think that we should have kept giving it subsidy and, and hopefully yeah, improve yeah. our car manufacturing. Yeah. But it should have happened 10 years ago. But because our um, big business is strong enough that something like that took 10 to 15 years to actually happen. In China, if it needs to close, it will close tomorrow. Damn. So and and your point anyway, so and, yeah, your, like and your point is that like essentially, China it, the government is, is always growing and their approval ratings are insanely high. And like you said in that in that thing in that speech uh, that speech from that dude, he was saying uh, on a state level, the um their approval of the public's approval is like pretty low or lower. But on a national level, it's like insanely high. It's like in the 80s, high 80s. Yeah, because the government actually does things for them. I think that that's the reason that people are always saying that... And, and they also people, yeah. politicians, am I right? But it's just the system that we have kind of breeds incompetency. And so you're obviously not going to like something that you have to pay for that doesn't do anything. Also, they have a and was unified... And it, was, it, was yeah. it your friend, um, sister who lived in China... Was saying something that was kind of interesting. Actually, that's what made me uh, like. I think I found my angle for the China video that I've been thinking of. Um, as like, sh- sh- wasn't she saying like, as Australian and Western health benefits and social security benefits keep going down, Chinese keep going up. It's just like mm. the o- opposite trajectory. Really. So you know, like how every time like our dole is getting lower, it's yeah. getting more difficult Cause to access. Because of, of the libs. We're losing. Well, libs, but like just social security being contracted, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's it's consistent throughout the world. The West. Throughout the Western world. In yeah. China, it's the opposite, where theirs are actually increasing. They're you getting rent it, subsidies and all that. It's like just stuff that Jordan was actually telling me about. I'm I'm really curious about how long it it will be. Till all the pundits and think tanks and military groups and governments of the West keep ignoring and just like uh, sort of just like slamming China for like arbitrary things, but then being like, okay, that might be true, but like, what about this, this, and this? What about how their wages are right? What about how their social security? What about how about like how their satisfaction is No, I think behind closed there? doors, they actually know what's going on. It's just the public perception is right. to constantly just attack China. Because you know what we, you know, what we could do if we were smart. We could do what Korea did after their war or uh, whatever that place is in Africa that also turned it around with the Hutus and blah, 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 that area. What's that place? What's that place code again? Yeah, but they just had US imperial help. Well, Korea didn't. Yeah, Korea got heaps. Oh. But well, I will also well, say this, though. Dude, is but could, uh, in, in, both the of their in both of their defense, though, both Korea and... Rwanda. That's the one. Like they, they, they did well with the help. But couldn't yeah. we just glean the? I'm not saying. Couldn't we hypothetically glean some of the best things of China, or at least the state of, at least the model, <coughs> not even the model, just like the, the sort of uh, framework for certain ideas, like philosophical approaches that could that we could adapt adopt to be more effective. You don't have to. I think this is a really good start. We'd be getting rid of the Senate. I really do. I'm on board. All right, I yeah. Really think that like, that's all right, so this is board. what we've decided. Fuck the Senate. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining you us penny well. tonight. Um, yeah, this is all your fault, Penny. <laughs> no, I should. I keep calling her out because she's the only one I know. She's all right. She's all right. <laughs> that's the only Senate that anyone knows. <laughs> Why is she? She's going? good. Was she a union person? Uh, I'm sure she must have been at some point. But I reckon it just would have been one Poor of those Penny bullshit Wong. things of just being like shuffled papers, yeah, tertiary education union, uh, two months while she was doing a law degree. I believe it was something like that. But I don't know. I don't know what. But she I did. think Penny deserves. She's some good. Major. She's, she's good. good. No, she's smart. Penny she's good. is. She's great. The quintessential example of what like a good Politician. technocrat looks like. Yeah. 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 And all her technocrat. policy positions are like 
it's it's like she's a robot. <laughs> like yeah. She, yeah. she knows exactly she knows what exactly. to say. What not. Anyway, she seems like she's, really... Yeah, uh, she's very smart. effective. But anyway, thank you for joining us. Uh, it's do you been wanna, fun. Do you want to say goodbye, Jordan? Goodbye, everybody. Thank you for listening to us. Hey, you want some extra content, though? Jump on the Friendly Geordie's Patreon for the Up Late Pod. Uh, we're coming at you hot from 2021. Hot content. Sexy, sexy, and political. <laughs> Apparently the last update that we did was pretty crazy. As in like people okay. enjoyed yeah. it. Oh, yeah. And well, you get access to that podcast as well. So see if you agree with us doing what was obviously an extremely biased review. No, no, and no. Saying that everybody loved it. Best podcast <laughs> Best of all podcast time. ever. And, and you uh, won't get to know if it is or isn't unless you become a member. Plus, I'm sure many other benefits, which I can't remember are, there are. But there, there's stuff. There was the promise of Miss Love cooking you a hot steak dinner maybe five <laughs> years ago. I don't think that's going to eventuate. Hey. See you next week, folks. Nice sale. <laughs> Bye.